Alrighty. Group D game one, let's go. I'm sorry, Karama, there'll be no sub request today. There'll be no sub request today. Okay, the graphic settings are way too low, actually. The graphic settings are actually awful. Okay, that's actually awful. Hold up, let me fix that. I, ch I load the wrong things. Okay, that's that's a bit better. All right, I load the wrong things. I'll get a refund. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a free song request in the future. Don't you worry. I'll do it. I'll remember. I'll remember. Alrighty. So, all right. Sorry, I had to sort out some admin things behind the scenes there. All right. So what? Right now we have Vanacek, Joe Jobel, our mod. Bebe, who is Choco Shroud. This is Choco Shroud. We got Jojo Ball, Kenetica, uh, Lenya, Crazy Panda, Dark, and Dreams. We got a stacked lobby here. I hope you guys enjoy this one. <clears throat> Alright, so up. first up, Dreams has a Spirit Breaker 2. Very powerful. Dark. Again, this is round 2. Anything can really happen from this point onwards. Not really much to commentate on. So if there's anything you want to ask in chat, go ahead. I'm as if there's anything to ask. Now's the best time. While well, nothing is happening on the build, on the on the game. Next to a better PC, yeah. But you know what, the Agnes. I might just go and get a new PC. I'm so I, I'm surprised I cannot handle eight eight boards at the same time. I guess I'm too old. I'm too old. No skill, no luck. That's fun. That's fun, Makiro. Thank you for playing the game first game, though. Thank you for um, subbing in and playing, Makiro. Much appreciated. Oi. If Kokoshout loses. In chat, yes, you may. JoJo gets a hard group. Yeah. Look. Unfortunately, well... What I put into the RNG generator is not affected by me. To make it as fair as possible, I did not make the groups manually. Otherwise, favoritism, blah, 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 blah. We don't want to go down that route. Oh, Joe Jobel is actually playing with a pandy. I wonder if he'll drop anything. <laughs> Sensational graphic, they are. They blow me away every time. Um, I might need to turn it down even more. I'm only getting 30 FPS still. Off. Alrighty. Dreams. Ops to stay level 3. Dark. 3 Mech Willow 2. Crazy Panda. Orc Warriors. Opti for level 2. I believe Crazy Panda is going for an open here. Lenya. Looks like it's looks like it's a night angle with a double CK. Ketatika opening with knights. Choco Shroud. Choco Shroud has two pandas and looking to drop potentially an elder type. Oh no, there's no elder type. Wait, what? Choco Shroud has left his Sparrow Breaker in for no reason. <laughs> oh, the right on talking that is good stuff. Especially when you DC and rejoin. Insane graphics. My, look, uh, Jay, my, look, my, my frame rate was suffering. My frame rate was suffering, so I had to lower it a little bit. Can't find lobby. Okay, if you're having problems, discuss it in your Discord group. If you guys need to remake, just remake. Alrighty, Vanichek, two undead. This looks like something I would probably open with. It's not very powerful, level three. Dumb Juice, Jojo Ball, I should say it's Jojo Ball from now on. Three Hunters, Panda, Lenya, Axe two with the three mechs at the back. Interesting. Oh, Dark is looking very powerful here. Dark with Clock 2, 3 mech, Willow 2, that's really strong. Cal okay buddy, okay buddy. Alright, Choco Shroud, playing with that Ch I'll- I really do want to see some Panda gameplay. I really do want to see some get Panda gameplay here with that Storm Spirit. Ta-da! 
I'll let me guys know, do you guys want music or not? Dark always high roll, I know, Dark always cheating? Classic. Dark is no joke. Yeah, Dark came second place in the last tournament. He knows, he knows how to play, he knows how to play that chess. He knows what's up. Big Dick Gary, I do not believe there's any Gary Gamba so far, no. Oh, we should, we should um, analyze the legendary pool and relic pool, of course. So, so what have we got so far? We can sit, play, sit, see some 4 Demon Hunter, late game. That's probably the only thing I see here. Mango Tree for late game. Okay, well, um, yeah, we're going to be having a Hunter Knight Assassin game here. we got Shrink Rate and Family Discount. It's going to be all re-rolling. This chat's my eyes, okay. <laughs> Full on Gobbo's Dark, we will see what his relic is first before he decides. Banner check, getting taken out by Choco Shroud's Tinker 2. Lenya with the CK23 mechs. That's. Wait, Lenya and Dark are really. <laughs> those two are really popping off early game here. <laughs> Bully stream, I never get bullied, I'm too big for that. Hmm. Jojo Ball? It definitely looks like Jojo Bull is taking a Hunter route this game. Oh, My lord. This lobby truly has no chill. Look at these people go. So, Lenya and Dark, both level 5 with 3 mechs. Dreams comes in and says, Hey, I want to join the party too. Joins up with Timber, Fury and 2, SB2 and 2 humans. Woo, hello Blandonga. This is the second game I'm streaming today. We have wait. If there's a if there if there's a game to want to open, it's this one. You don't want to be fighting against these top four players here. These rolls I'm seeing early game are insane. I think I need to calm down and commentate. I don't think my voice box can take it. I want okay. I need to slow down on the talking. I don't want to lose my voice <laughs> before tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Okay. Back to it. <laughs> Hey Ron, hello Dory. Jeez, how do casters do it? Very powerful. CK2, Axe 2, 3 mech. Another Storm Spirit drop from Chocker Shroud. Ooh! 3 mech, Mars 2. With Dark Willow, very powerful. Dreams! Looking for a greedy 3 mech play with the Meepo. Banachek! Also doesn't want to be left out. Orc, no. Undead Warriors clocked. That's actually strong as well. Wow. This is a cracked early game if I've ever seen one. This is a cracked early game. For the next 20? Alright, what about this 20? Professionals commentating this 20. <clears throat> uh, yeah, look, I'm, I might need to co-cast the boys. I'm going to lose my voice. Oh. <sighs> Alrighty, looks like, yep, Crazy Panda, 30 gold, still has not found his oracle for two priests. Dream DZ, dreams, okay, Dream DZ, is it Grouch? Sorry, I, I just read it literally, dreams. <laughs> Alright, Crazy Panda, 40 gold, round 9, classic. Uh, Keta, looks like he's opting for hunters or assassins. I think both might be open, oh no. Not if Choco Shroud has something to say about it. Choco Shroud looks like he wants to go for assassins himself. Jojo Ball has two Slarks, but this looks more like a hunter angle to me. We'll find out how the game plays out later. <clears throat> Alrighty. Not an interesting fight. Alrighty, here we go. Here's an interesting fight. On Lenya's board, we got... Oh, we got four knights. He's taking his opted to opt out of mechs and keep his streak with knights, which I actually think is a great idea. I think that's a that's a really good idea. I support that a lot. But yeah, you don't get the free roll from me from the mechs. But this will solidify your win streak. Hello, <laughs> Stout. Don't speak. Oh, hello, Reptiloid. Don't have time for song requests right now, sir. So. Oh! Wow, 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 wow. We have a lot of improvements here, actually. 
Round 10, round 10, it's time to see what relics people pick up now. Yep, that wins. Oh shit, Jocko Shroud! Oh, Jocko Shroud, I think is really pushing it here. This man is actually pushing it. Oh, oh. Okay, I've seen everyone else wins, but this absolute Pepeg. Okay, let's see this Pepeg win the round. <laughs> There's no shot this wins. Um, um, sir? Anyway, we, we, no, the Choco Shred, no, he, he did win the round, we just didn't see it. It, it, it happened off stream. Alright, so, Lenya has picked up Jailer's Master Key with his 3 mech start. Dark going for Sin Reaper with the TB2. Vanacek going for Family Discount. What is Vanacek playing? Not too sure yet, maybe Warriors. Kedatika. Unstable Shrink Ray with Hunters, very powerful. Crazy Panda. Two Priests, 60 Gold, March of the Beast. Ooh. Are you taking part? No, I'm just casting. Got around and got Sniper. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, let's see what's happening up the top. Oh, here we go. Dark, level 6, TB2. Will keep the streak against Vanacek's strong board, I think. Ooh, that was a close fight, actually. Surprisingly close. Two ball with Mars and a Vibe Booster. Both Lenya and Dark are continuing their streaks. Woody! Oh no, Popular! Thank you for gifting us some, sir. Thank you, thank you. But yep, this is shaping up to be a really powerful Legion Commander Six Knights type of build here. I think Dark takes that streak as well. If Dark takes this streak, man, he's going to have a strong late game on his hands if that's what he chooses. Oh, he could play Elves instead, actually. Actually, you know what? I think Dark might be playing Elves here. TB, Dark Willow, Tree. I think that's Elves. Dream DZ. I'm not too sure what Dream DZ is going for here. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see Lenya fight Hunters. Yep, completely steamrolls them. Yeah, four knights is a very good power spike. Vanacek takes a hit from TB. Jojo will slightly off. Oh, big comeback, big comeback. Gets a, gets a win against Assassins. Choco Shroud is playing very honorably. Kenetika going for Assassins. Oh, I think Kenetic is going to have a good position here. Assassin's Shrink Ray. He's going to pop off. Crazy Panda. Looks like Crazy Panda has opted for Juggernaut Elemental. The Cogonaut build, if you will. Cogonaut build for Crazy Panda, I believe, is what's coming out here with his two priests. This will be rough. This will be rough. So I think the people who might be... In a sticky situation, Crazy Panda's looking... It's looking dire. Choco Shroud is an absolute peg. Jojo Bull's looking pretty good. Kenetic is looking good. Um, I'm not too sure what Vanacek's going for here. Maybe Warriors. Definitely needs a bit more... Um, development before we can tell. Dream DZ. Um, also has Family Discount, but I'm not too sure what he's going for here. Show loose streak info. What do you mean? Dark? Yep, Dark 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 is definitely playing elves. Zero Knight, is this what you want to see? So we've got Zero Knight on Crazy Panda, 1-8 Keta, 2-7 Choco Shroud with that. Alrighty. Oh, that's right, he did not get a relic, so he has nothing. Perfect loose streak, what an all luck. I'm not too sure what's going on here, but he has a sniper too now. It might be going hunters as a pivot. <laughs> Alrighty, six knights, wind streaking. Oh, six knights versus darks. Does oh does Lenya lose his streak to dark here? This is what we have to find out. Oh, oh no. 
Oh no. This might be the worst outcome possible for the rest of the lobby. Dark? Sin Reaper? 9 gold streak. 27 gold like that. It's done. It's done. Dark just to Sin Reaper lend your streak. Oh, This man is in an insane... I, I, I think Dark might just have this in the bag now. Just off that. Round 15, level 7. Red win streak, 30 gold. 40 gold, actually. This is going to be 40 gold now. Oh, man. This... Oh. I think we may be seeing a Dark number 1 here. We might. We may be seeing Dark at number 1 here. Win streaking Elves. And Sin Reaper value. Oh, it's rough. It's rough. Yep, Vanity Check going for Wizard Warriors. I see Marcy pick up Sliders and Pudge. Marcy being contested by Dark as well, that's that, that's going to be rough. Dream DZ. Dream DZ still not too sure what it's going for here. So I have to check something here. We can say, ooh, you like that? 15 FPS, uh, sorry, I have to alt tab and just... Just some things I need to check in the background here. We got a screenshot. Okay, thank God, thank God. Okay, so I need to just check on the other groups just then. Apologies for that. Oh, let's go through the list again. Crazy Panda, Mars Three, Tiny Three, Juggernaut, Two Priest. Might be an okay spot here. Might be an okay spot. Keta and Chocolate <laughs> both lose PVE, unfortunately. That is tragic. Choco Shroud opting for a Meepo or Q pivot. Jojo will still commit to his Hunters. Dream DZ. Still not too sure what Dream... I, I, I think Dream DZ may be just playing levels here. Level 7, 40 gold. Family discount. Oh, this is the big hit. This is the big hit. I think that might be an Apple. <laughs> okay, Choco Shroud. You need to stop the shit talk, okay? Vanacek, Wizard Warriors, Lenya, Knights up top, and Elf from Dark. <laughs> yep, I know that seems good to me, given Marcy is both likely to be contested. Is Spectre in the game? Yes. That's why I think this build's really good. Yeah, Spectre is in the game, so. With that Sin Reaper value, I think Dark is going to get... He, I, depending on his value, he can just go play level 10, honestly. He can just go play for level level 8, 9, 10. Just get in 4 Demon Hunter and call it a day. It's done. But we'll see if the other players can make a comeback out of his insane start. Um. Ooh, Lenya losing to... To um, Jojo Obel's hunt. Jojo Obel actually on a win streak as well here, by the looks of it. Hunters actually popping off as well. Oh, he has Sin Reaper Hunters. Go, go, Crazy Panda. I still got some Crazy Panda fans, yeah? Vanacek probably needs to find two priests soon. The issue with Wizard Warriors is that unless you hit early two stars, maybe even Doom, the comp is hard to put together. And once everyone spikes over the top of you, you'll be in trouble. Unless he just decides to go for six warriors, which would be okay as well. Yep, dream, dream DZ. Three humans, two priests. Perfectly. Yep, yep, yep. This is a even though his relic is family discount, this is perfectly fine. 67%, 50 gold, level 7. Accumulated books and pangos. Perfectly fine. Choco Shroud. <laughs> Unfortunately, did not drop a Gyrocopter into a Meepo. Crazy Panda needs five more Juggernauts before the comp is online. Big spin! Oh, that was a really good toss by Tiny, but unfortunately they're all on one health. Oh, the hood... Oh, that hoodwink though. That hoodwink was a bit too powerful. That hoodwink producer combo. Sniper dropped two times. Thank you for that, sir. Da -da.
Oh. Alright, hold up. Keta GG. Yeah, Keta's look Keta does have the shrinker. Unfortunately, he lost round 15, but his unit quality will probably be fine here. I think he's fine. He still has three more tangos to eat. He still has not opened his boxes. I think Keta still can come Keta can bring this back. Crazy Panda. Ooh, Crazy Panda is in a rough spot here. Crazy Panda is in a rough spot. He needs five more juggernauts, two tangos, March of the Beast, not ideal. Um, Dream DZ. Yeah, taking big. Oh, 15 is no good. 15 is no good. Um, Jojo will unfortunately loses his streak to Lenya. Lenya is losing his streak to Crazy. No, not no streak. No, he's just losing to Crazy Panda. Six stacks. Blade Mail. More than Mask Chainmail Cloak. Wow, losing. Wow, I'm actually very surprised there. Six, no, four night two troll lost to um priest build. Oh, I didn't notice that. Dark got a draw against someone. Hold on, let me check that. Dark got a draw against Crazy Panda. Wow, okay. You know, that's actually not a bad outcome. Um, Dark? Ooh. Dark just lost his streak, but that's fine because if no one else takes it, it's okay. Still 100% Drew again. Crazy Panda almost took the streak. Very close, very close. March of the Beasts, Crazy Panda. Let's see if he can take it out here. Easy win, easy win. Easy clap, four elemental, done. Oh, it's not four elemental, but you know what I mean. Dream DZ, very close. Choco Shroud, oh no! Unfortunately, this is another PVE, but let's see if we can bring it back. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, Choco Shroud is not having the having a great time right here. Oh, Mars and Tiny has been monopolied. Crazy Panda Monopoly, Dream DZ. Goes for the key. Jojo will go for the Hunter Monopoly. Banachek, Weaponsmith. Lenya go for more Sin Reaper and Dark on the Family Discount. Oh. Ah, okay. So Dark on Family Discount means he is most likely opting Marcy three, TB three, and calling it a day right after. Um. Da, da, da. Yep, Dark is too powerful. Dark is too powerful here. Oh, Crazy Panda taking a big hit here from the elves. Maybe? About 10 damage, 9 damage. 10 damage. Crazy Panda on his last 10 health with 2 tangos. Oh, man needs to pull out four more Juggernauts to make this comeback here. It's gonna be rough, but I, he can do it. It's still possible. <laughs> I, I think Choco Shroud may be, um, may be in last place. Dream DZ going for most likely and a Kier build with Beast. Has a, has a Zeus. And Keta makes a comeback with unit quality here. Three star, three star, three star. Almost three star. Really good Monopoly contract out of him. And now, Jojo Ball. Looks like he's taking his sweet time to get into those um, Monopoly in, in play. Because he has no telescope just yet. <laughs> Isla Man has four Morbid Masks. He's got three Masks here. One on Drow, very interesting. Vanacek taking a big hit from Dark's Elves. Oh, that's rough. So Vanacek and Dark both taking Marcy. Lenya. Lenya has opted for Sin Reaper. Almost has CK3. 
I think um, a 692 troll here would be really powerful for him. Keta, not GG. No, Keta can make a comeback here. I do think Keta's okay. Oh, this has to opt for the 4 Knight, 2 Warlock, 2 Undead. Darko. Dark vs Assassins. Let's see if he can pull this one up here. No telescope, but it is six, six hunters, two pierce evasion. <clears throat> oh, it's looking like a very close fight. It's looking like a very close fight, but I think Dark's Elves, they just take it in the end. They take it just in the end. Oh. Knights. Ah, uh, looks like Jojo will need two more, two more Beastmasters, one more Sniper, two Hoodlinks. Oh, I think um, Ken is making a big comeback here. Oh, Vanacek. What does Vanacek get? Oh, Vanacek is in a tough spot as well. Vanacek is unfortunately not too close to his three-star Warriors. Has found the Doom or the full comp. I do not recommend the Husker here. You cannot afford this. Going for these three is enough money. Is enough of a money sink in total. Now it's the, oh, six assassins coming in against Meepo Kia absolutely just wipes them out. Oh, <laughs> this this is this is a true degenerate right here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him. He's holding his boxes to level thir to round thirty weaponsmith. He does not give a fuck. He knows his assassins are going to do work, and they will do work. Oh, Choco Shroud on his last 2%. Let's see if we can make a cut. Crazy Panda. Crazy Panda. 17%, 2 tangos. Really needs to start hitting that Juggernaut soon. Really needs to hit that Juggernaut really soon. By the way, he's doing pretty well. That's, that's a nice compromise he's doing here, actually. So what he's doing was, is that he just goes straight to the 7, put 4 elemental in and just lets um, Mars and Tiny carry, which is pretty good play because 4 elemental is quite powerful in itself. <clears throat> Dream, Mages, Dragons. Okay, sorry about that, I had to blow my nose. Dark once again wind streak on 100%. This man is a beast on the chest streets. Look at him go. I think it'll, it'll only be a matter of time before he finally hits that um he hits that uh four demon hunter power spike with TB3 Marcy 3. Well oh everyone else is gonna have a tough time. Lenya, two more LCs, needs two more LCs. Oh, 13 stacks in total. Ops to go for Blade now. Mechanism, Black King Bar, Morbid Mask, and Blades of Attack. Vanacek! Very powerful units here. Looks like a few Monopolies have gone through. Crazy Panda, Jojo, both getting some value. A Sock Curas. Sacred Relic, Ogrex on Marcy 3 here. Marcy 2, I mean, Marcy 2. Kenetika Assassins still popping off. Um, Dream DZ. Ooh, Dream might be in bit might be in a lot of trouble here. Dreams might be in a lot of trouble here. Do you think he's gonna get the weapons with that round there? I do not know. I'm, oh! Choco Shroud is out in eighth place, unfortunately. Dreams is in a tough spot here. Unfortunately, mages are not the play this season unless you get like Zeus 2. Oh, rough, rough, rough. Crazy Panda on his last legs as well. Oh, and he hits the Juggernaut. Comp is online for Crazy Panda. Night Warriors, Hunters, Assassins. Dark is just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Let's see, um, let's see how 
Crazy Panda's Juggernaut pops off here. Dagon? Mechanism? Morbid Mask? These are decent items. I, I, these are good items. It's a good balance of magic damage, mana regen, and defense. I can see this doing work here. Big spin, big spin, big blade mail. Oh. I think Crazy Panda might have his might have a path to top four here. Look at him go. Slicing through a hunter build that's almost all in. Oh, Wizard Warriors, Marcy, still hanging in there. Jojo will lose it to Knights. Kenetika. Kenetika's assassin's getting take out the elves. Not quite, not quite. Um. Alright, next up we got Lenya. Lenya on Knights. And Dark, with his family discount, has hit TB3. Oh, bro, this man's just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Oh, he has actually lost a round. He actually did lose a round to Crazy Panda. Oh, he lost to Crazy Panda and gave him a cheeky little win streak. Privyat Bratan, Privyat Asidka. Hello, sir. Unfortunately, you couldn't make it today, could you? <clears throat> Lenya? We haven't seen the Knights play in a bit. Let's see if the Knights can hold up against TB3. Oh, I think the Demon, yeah, the, the triple TB might be a little too much for Lenya to hold here. I think a win streak will be going to Dark. Demon bonus slicing right through Night Shields. Oh, a little unfortunate. Streak down. Dark gets another advantage. Drain DZ out in 7th place with his 5 dragons. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Crazy Panda, I think this, this is a big comeback strat here. Big comeback. Um. So for Jojo. Triple Mask, Crystallis. Unfortunately, does not have a telescope. Ooh! Vanacek is starting to come together here. Slaughter 3. Two more Marcy's, two more Pudges, and insane item quality. Assault Curious is no joke. Let's see, let's see the Wizard Warriors, see if they hold up against Elves. Oh, Anti-Mage taking out Marcy's mana. This might be it for him. This might be it for um, Marcy. First and seventh place. Oh, no dreams. Okay, after this game, I'm going to go have to update the brackets. Oh, can Slider just... No, the elves are too strong. Once again, elves are too strong. Kenateka losing to the... Yep, Kenateka is losing to assassins as well. Yeah, I think I think the elves are just too powerful right now. Has a Zeus if he wants to be... Oh, no, just kidding, just kidding. I thought he might want to be, you know, a fun player, but just kidding. Um, <clears throat> Jojo unfortunately does not have Maranas and Drows. I think Jojo, without the telescope, might be on his way out here. Crazy Panda actually made a very good comeback after the open. Really well played, really well played. I thought he was out when he had to take March and Cogonaut. That usually means you're not going to hit your units, but hey, he made it, he made it. Kenetika praying for a weaponsmith, no shot. Yep. Apologies. Finds an energy booster and a blink dagger! And looks like Dark has hit Monopoly. Let's go through the relic list. Let's go through relics. Dark has Monopoly. Lenya goes for family discount to find the rest of his units. Triple weapons in! Oi, these people are popping off with their eyes. Like Crazy Panda once again going for March of the Beasts. Let's see what items he puts together here. I believe we're going to be seeing a Blink Dagger on this man, perhaps, yep, Blink Dagger, Energy Booster, Dagger, Instant Spin. Yes, Kenetika held his boxes and got a Weapon Smith, let's check out what he has now. Unfortunately, <laughs> the items aren't of best quality, but I guess it would be worse otherwise. Solid, Blade Mail, BKB, Mask of Madness. Oh, and Dark's Elves, I think. 
Do Dark Elves take him out here? Not quite. Da TB3 just gets taken down. No, Jojo will get taken out by Lenya into sixth place. Got our top five now. Ah, so the Marauders were contested. Unfortunate, so unfortunate, so well played. GG. Alright, so we got Battle 5, Dark first. Lenya, LC3. <clears throat> we grind no preparation. Ooh, Vanishek. Going for a... Going for a bit of a cheeky Husker 3 here. Very greedy. Flexible Panda. Oh, his... Yeah, oh, that Panda Dad's not... Not bad, not bad. Um, let's see if Wizard Warriors holds up here. Wizard Warriors, can they can they hold last eleven percent? Was it Dazzle done? Oh yeah, sure thing so. I will, of course, of course. Oh Marcy goes down. I think Nine Warriors may be leaving the stage here. Yeah, I think Nine Warriors will be dying to elves. GG Vanacek. Crazy Panda against Knights! Really close here, LC versus Juggernaut. I think the LC is just too resilient though. Very close, very close, but Crazy Panda still alive with one tango, it's fine. Powello to 50 bucks it's Christmas. Christmas time. Good luck on the tournament to all yep. Thank you so much, Powello. Thank you once again for a big donut dono. Thank you, so thank you, thank you. Um <clears throat> Alrighty. Yep. These knights only get stronger as well. 24 stacks, very solid items. One more, one more Abaddon, one more Batrider, and it's done. The PC finds, yeah, I'm gonna make a beast PC when I can. Maybe I'll make it like as soon as possible, actually. I was waiting for this PC to conk out, but it, I really don't think I should skip. Alrighty. Oh, this is really good news for Dark, actually. That frees up the Marcy's because um, Vanacek was contesting them earlier. So let's see how this plays out. Da, da. Big knight, big knight. Knights versus elves. Snapfire in the back with a um ogre axe. Doof, 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 doof. Oh, wind ranger CC. Oh, and elves still take the edge. Crazy panda winning his round. Kenetika losing to the knights. Kenetika almost on his way out. Almost everyone losing. Dark lost to Crazy Panda. Assassins. Unfortunately, Assassins did lose PvE earlier, so the items aren't as good as they would. This is the commitment that helps a lot. And Antonating AF. Oh, thank you, sir, Mr. Jigger. Thank you, bro. Had the words. Oh! LD Amarada, boom! Monopolied by Dark here. I think it's only a matter of time, boys, before he hits a spectre, four demon hunters come in, and even maybe a Marcy 3. Once that happens, it might be a lights out for a lot of other players. Right now has seven elf, two demon hunter. TB3 with the majority of the items, which is a triple Morbid Mask. <laughs> is a big bear allowed in this game? May you show legs? <laughs> what are you on about, sir? <laughs> I don't know what that means. But yes, that's illegal. That's legal. Alrighty. Kennedy, assassins out in fourth place. Crazy Panda! Crazy Panda! Out in third place, I believe. Yeah, I think the elves just do enough damage. GG. GG. We're left to our top two. Dark and Lenya. Assassin. No, not assassin. Knights vs. Elves. Garagan Pan. There's no shot you Garagan did. Dark and Ledger, who is more OP? We'll find out in the next few rounds here. Um, while PvE happens, I'm gonna get some water. My throat is actually dying. <laughs> Be right back, guys, one minute. Alright, I'm back. Um. 
Alright, um, after this game, we're going to make the lobby again for Group D, and I'll probably update the scores for the other groups as well. I'll need to do that. I'm on the Korea icon. Maybe it's just the length of time before the round ends. I'm not too sure. Oh! Dark has hit his four Demon Hunters. I think this might be lights out for Knights, unless the Knight has enough items to carry through, because, um... Knight shields are now redundant. Everything on this board does true damage, goes through any sort of resistance. Let's see... If Knights or Elves win this. Oh, win range of true damage right down the middle. Yeah, this this is looking rough. This is looking rough. Mm, boom. Knights down. Knights. Yeah, Knights lost on both boards. I think we may see Dark on first, Lenya second. That's what it's looking like so far. Boom. DK2. Six Knight. Two Undead. Two Warlock. Um, it's looking it's looking tough. Oh no, and Dark hit Marcy 3. Okay, Dark is hit Marcy 3 on top of that. Demon Marcy. That might be it. That might be it. Oh, it takes the tree out because he has no space. Interesting, interesting. That might be GG's right there. Demon Marcy 3. Doesn't even need Monk. It one shots anyway. Oh, the grouping. Marcy. AoE. Oh! Oh shit, wait, Lenya! Wait, did you wait, did you guys see that just then? Well, that was in that was a well played position right there. I don't think I would have ever done that. Whoa. Wait, Lenya with the biggest brain in the world. Clusters into a corner. Blade mails the front. And Dark kills himself. Lenya! Blade mail. Blade mail. All cornered. Dark kills himself. Oi. Just kidding. Oi. I think top two might be up in the air now. Who knows? Who knows who's going to take this one, actually? Jeez. What what a smart cookie this man is. What a smart cookie. <clears throat> All he needs is another Blade Bell and Abaddon. That is truly game over. Check this out. <laughs> Look. Blade Bell, Blade Bell. Oh. They're all KYSing. Well played. Oh, actually, the fight didn't go quite as planned. Dark must. Did Dark make a change? Because he won on both boards. How's this going? Mirana stuns back. Zap. Loses. Okay, something. Let's check Dark's items. Let's check Dark's items. Did something change here? Triple Morbid Mask. LD Front. Dagon 4 on Mirana. Wow. Dagon 4. I'm just thinking, wouldn't Dagon 4 be a bit better on Wind Ranger? It's a Wind Ranger, Power Shackle, if it's in a corner, true damage. Dude, everything dies, right? Whereas Mirana's more single target. And Mirana? Mirana's Sacred Arrow, it's not for the damage. You mostly want that for the CC. Wind Ranger on the hand, both CC and AoE damage. Which is Imba against a grouped corner. It goes off instantly, snap fire, gets Marina arrowed. Oh, the blade mail's not quite holding up as much. And I think the elves just pierce through the first line of defense into the fleshy back line, and elves take it with their full demon lineup, unfortunately. There is information on groups ABC. Crazy Panda, um, I'm going to do it after this game, okay? I'm going to do it after this game's done. I'll update it, I'll update it. All right, round forty. I'm gonna go up. Might go do a, a do a little bit of updating while PVE happens because there's not not much to check out here.
Do one round. <laughs> okay, back to back to the game, back to the game. What well, Marcy with Dagon 4? Um yeah, Marcy with Dagon 4 would be interesting. But I think you get more you Oh, that's actually not a bad idea, actually. Oh, that's not a bad idea. You raise a good point, so you raise you raise a really good point. I think Dagon 4 just really works in a lot of places here. Um Dark Ops for the Necronomicon on TV. Has a few Mystics Daves, no Staff of Wizardries. Manta Style! Manta Style Necronomicon. Marcy blinks in and unfortunately kills herself on Blade Mail. Oh, this Blade Mail setup's kind of nice, isn't it? Oh, Wind Ranger down the middle. Yeah, oh, this, I think this Demon Bonus is just a little. Oh, just kidding, I'm wrong once again. Knights actually take it back. Oh, they both lost. Okay, so it's an RNG fight in the end. I think it depends on who gets into the front line and hits the blade mail first. Oi, it really is a fight that can go either way here. <clears throat> Fatigue is kicking in as well. This is close, this is close, this is close. Dark has hit level 10. Items are on... I can't tell. Terra Blade has most of the items from Dark what I see so far. He has split up the Staff of Wizardries onto everyone. Alrighty, let's, let's look at it from the elf perspective this time. Blade mail, blade mail. Swap TB instead of, instead of TB instead of being on right side, change it to the left side. Might be the play here to avoid him from getting blade mailed right off the bat. Dark, I think, has has the win secured on his board. Oh! Lenya goes down in second place. Dark takes first. GG. GG, Dark. Dark takes game two here. Alrighty. Well played, boys. Well played. I'll make the next lobby. I'll make group D again. But give me, um, give me like a minute or two to update the uh, group stages, yeah? Um, dark first. Then second. Crazy Panda third. Keta. Wait, it's Keta Ipkla? Oh no, has this changed? I can't tell who's who. I need this two points, yes, I do remember. Wait, um, I'm a bit confused here. Names have changed. If Clan Seco have both changed their names? Is Seco Keta? Okay, Seco, Seco is Keta. Okay, thank you, thank you. You and your confusing names. And a check is if claw. Okay. Done, done, done. Alright, I've made group D, but I'm doing, um, I'm trying to sort out the, uh, brackets right now. So give me a sec. Okay, let's do it. If there's any errors on the brackets, make sure to let me know. I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm doing my best, though. I'm hoping it's... I have not fumbled anything. Six. Iphonic. Four. DK. Three. Desert. Two. One. DK with a guy in camera first days. I cannot believe it. Six sicker.
Yeah, big shout out to Graying actually putting formulas in my spreadsheet so it updates like automatically. That's great. I'm loving it. Iphonic Coil 3. Um, two, there's a one, okay. Okay, let me do group C. Hold on. Okay, I can just do this on screen, hey, I can just do this on screen, I'm not making anything, I'm not making anything, hold up, let me do this on screen. I might as well let you guys see what's happening here, I might as well let you guys see what's happening here. Alright, I'm just going through um, Group C now. Uh, um, I don't know who Rothello says, I'm going to do this for process of elimination. Nachi 5th is 4th place. F in 6 on 3. Gautama 2. Sai one. All right, so you get seven then. So then Manny is Rafaelos. Can you screenshot E? Nearly over. I'm not in group E, Tommy. Graying is. And group the second game, Colin Robinson is DC guy. DC guy's popping off in group C by the looks of it. Winstone is on eight. Napoleon on seven. Gautama, six. Rafaelos is Manu on four. Sai, three, F, two, Nachi, one. Alright, group E. Um, there we go. I think these are up to date as of now. I think the group stages are... I think from the screenshots I've seen so far, this should be fine. We're up to date. Alrighty, this is what we got so far. Um, group A, first game still done. Group in Group B, it looks like Mishanya's in first place. Proof Enemy and Sixika Star both in second. Group C, DC Guy first place. Napoleon second. Winstone third. Um, group D, which we're watching, Dark first place. Crazy Panda second. Lenya third. Dreams fourth. Boy, this is a tight one. This is a tight one here. And then Group A, I still do not have this game yet. I do not have this game yet. I will have to fish it up if you guys do not take a screenshot, but I'll do that later. Anyway. Um, two minutes? Okay. Yeah, sure thing, bro. Alright. We have done the admin, admin side of things. I think we're ready to go when you guys are. Oh, okay, thanks, okay, thanks, okay. Duh. Okay, I can I can update that now. I'll update that now. Oh. So what was it? Sora. Sora one point. Xenarch two. The John. On third. Fifth, no skill, no luck. Fourth, Echo. Okay. And Echo should get six points here. Third, Beck. Okay. Third place is seven points. <laughs> Oh, Tommy Wobby and Smooches both in first and second place again, huh? It looks like for Group E, Smooches and Tommy Wobby are most likely to go through by the looks of it so far. Alright, ready check, ready check, boys. Let's go, let's go, next game. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Lenya. 
I feel like I'm missing Keta. Smooch is first? Okay. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you for the follow. Alrighty. Third game of Group D, let's do it, boys. Third game coming through. <clears throat> I believe everyone's ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three games, yep, it's three games, three games. Big D. And I'll get a pick a group E. Um, Echo just forwarded it to me. Sorry about that, guys. All right, we're starting. We're starting. Okay, third game of Group D. Let's go. Oh, it's all panned together. Boys, oh no. Yeah, don't worry, Echo. I'll, I'll double check it. I'll, if, if, it's, if it's wrong, someone will let me know. Alrighty, game three. Why are you not involved? I'm just casting and organizing. I would not be able to play and organize at the same time. Organizing is enough <laughs> for me personally. Alrighty, what have we got here? Legendary pool. Elder Titan Zeus. Four gods are open. Um, <clears throat> We got Spectre. Four Demon Hunter. Arc Warden. Arc Akia, if you wish. And T A N Quat for three three assassin Akia. Oi! This legendary pool is phenomenal. This one, this game actually. This opens up pretty much every viable legendary uh, level ten legendary composition actually. Four gods, four demon hunter, Arc Akia, and Akia works best with the assassins of all. All right, relic pool. Oh, relic pool is also so good. Shrink Ray, Family Discount, Mango Tree, Great Vault. Oi! I think everything is viable this game. Everything is viable. I think we're going to see a lot of high quality compositions and my video has gone to shit some reason. Hold up. There we go. We'll sharpen the, uh, sharpen the images. Hello Dogan. Hello um, everyone else, Brooks. Blah blah blah. And doesn't enable Gara Gamma, we don't do not need that. No weaponsmith, true, no weaponsmith, but that means no one gets weaponsmith. Um. But yes. It's almost impossible to not get a valuable relic at 10. I think this game's gonna come down to how well people can draft because Ah, I made this casual, right? I hope I made this casual. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's casual. I'm in it. Alright, so, um, yeah, so it's going to come down to who drafts most efficiently here. It's almost impossible to get a, sh a bad relic given the presence of these four, and the other ones are... They're okay, they're half relics. Dream DZ, three assassins. Double Panda by Jojo. Docker Shroud. <laughs> Is he going for another legendary panda game? Fish it out? Yeah, I can fish it out. Um, four queens? Yeah, this is a tough lobby. This is a tough lobby, this one. Lenya on Hunters. Crazy Panda potentially going Knights. Vanichek. The double anti-mage. Alrighty, round four. Let's see what happens on round four. Who opts to fight? Who does not? Hello, El Paso. 
any improvements, any two stars. Mars 2 on Dream DZ. Mars 2, that's a very, oh, that's very powerful. Three Assassins Mars, I do like that. Hold up, that looks like I need to do some more admin work here. Uh -huh, for Group E. Here you go, guys. Um, all right, back to the game, back to the game. Vanacek, three hunters, one gold, rough. Crazy Panda, two knights, ten gold. Good position. I think this is a good knight angle. Lenya level 4 with the Hunters. Oi, hello. Two beasts, three Hunters. Potentially some Gary Gamba, maybe some Hunters in the back. Green DZ. Looking like a good Assassin. Assassins would be a good way to lock in your position to proceed to semi-finals. Taco Shroud going for a Open, looks like an open. Keta, two troll, panda, dark, three mech, dark, three mech, tiny two, level four. Oh, I'm surprised he lost the first game, first round actually. Alright, I'm pretty sure dark gets a free heart of the machine here. Up, down, um. <clears throat> Yeah, I think this is an easy win. Tiny has the um Tiny has the nanobots. Definitely taking a free heart of the machine. Let's see how he improves his common in the coming rounds. Dump juice still fighting against a witch doctor 2, takes it down. Man, round 10's gonna be interesting. Round 10's gonna be very interesting, I think. Ooh, we'll see if everyone gets a high quality relic or not. Oh, Lenya has improved to a witch doctor. Soul Booster Chainmail, good choice since there is in fact no Weaponsmith, just open your items if you want to fight. Summoning Stone Claw, Dream DZ, has a Arcane Boot, Morbid Mask. Vanacek should open his items, but it's okay. Got that Rider too, to troll, potentially Hunters maybe. Crazy Panda is going for the open two priests. I like this play. Has no fighting units. There are a lot of other stronger players, so this is fine. Opt he can position towards elves or knights. Good, good, good. Potentially knights out of Keta, maybe as well. Oh, that's a lot of knight positioners, I think. Um, <clears throat> by the looks of it, Dark wins another round for his three mech. Wait, Dark getting another huge start. Oh no, you guys can't be letting this happen. Can't be letting this guy get away with it again. Pops the heart. Does he pop the heart? Pop. Extra timber. Got two pairs. Oh, oh, picks up. Picks up Lena for two humans. Not bad. Choco Shroud also on the open. Probably gonna be going elves with the Marcy. Alright, Keta's looking at that guy. I'm not too sure what that is. Priest by Panda. <clears throat> Three mech. Potentially big fight big fight angle out of dark. Dream DZ. That's Assassin. Assassin's done and done. I think Dream Yep, yeah, that's Assassin's. Oi that <laughs> if no one can test this, this is probably a top three. Just cause just cause Assassin's just like that. Manny check losing to uh, Lenny's Hunters. Jojo Bull. Looks like it's playing pandas as well. Loses the darks. Three mech start. Mm -hmm. oh, man, we got Lenya up top. Big hunters. Okay, so I think we've already seen, we've already got our main three compositions established. We already see some hunter players, we already see some knight players, we already see some assassins. And not only this, they're going to be enabled by Family Discount and Shrink Ray. I think the main deciding factor that's going to decide who wins and who doesn't, it's going to come down to items and positioning. Right? 
I think there's a very good chance these people hit all their 3 stars by round 25. It will just come down to do Hunters get their Telescope, I don't know. Do um, Does Assassins get their Ricky 3, maybe get some quick good carry arms on Slark. Do Knights get stacks on LC? We'll find out, we'll find out. Yeah, Hunters 3 wins against Priests. Pandas from Jojo Ball getting a free win, 4 level 420 gold, very good econ. Dream, Assassins, very healthy. Being healthy on us and Assassins is ooh, too much, too much. Dark has picked up a Timber 2. If there's anyone to go late game, it's most likely Dark. But that being said, Dark, if he picks up a Shrink Ray at round 10, he can opt for a Gobbo's Angle instead. And he's actually going, he's almost got a tidy, tidy 3 as well. Wait, this, this is a, uh, this is an intense, this is an intense group stage already. Hello oh, Manesh, how's the 20 so far? Hello Manesh, um, it was a little rough at the start, people like, people didn't show up, had to find replacements, blah 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 blah, but I think we're okay now. Alright, Crazy Panda, I think this is an elf. Yep, like I've said before, when you get the tree, it's almost always elves, right? Because everything else is contested. Elves is, tends to be a step below the other meta compositions, but it can put up a fight with the right items and unit. <laughs> units. <laughs> you heard nothing. Okay, so Knights on Kedetika. Oh, I think Choco Shroud and Crazy Panda may be both going for elves here. That might be a bit rough, that might be a bit rough. Knights, Elf, Elf. Two Knight players, two Elf players. I'm not too sure what Jojo is going for here, I thought it was gambling. Dark, Dark's in a great spot here because he's not being contested by anyone. Oh no, that being said, Dreams is also in an insane position. Assassin's uncontested, Hunters. Let's, he has a spicy win. Oh, Crazy Panda goes to level 6! Goes to level 6 to try to beat this round. Let's see if this pays off. Level 6 is overkill, honestly. But let's see. It. I hope it's okay. Oh, he's got 9 elf in to beat it, huh? Early 9 elf? Pretty clever, actually. Pretty clever. But is that too much of a hit to his economy? Level 6, 20 gold. If he chooses the fight back and is stronger than everyone else, it might be okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> the relics are coming in. Lenya, Hunters, Shrink Ray. Oh no. Assassin, Shrink Ray. These two, these two are probably sailing into top four. Dark going for a great vault. This could potentially be late game. Sin Reaper by Jojo. Jojo is going to have to level up and try and put, some, put up a bit of a fight to get some value. Vanichek. Family Discount, Family Discount Knights, Crazy Panda going for the Mango, actually. Crazy Panda Mango? Ketachek, Shrink Ray. Yeah, so, like I said before, Shrink Ray, Family Discount, like two, two of the best relics you can get this meta. Ooh. I, I think we're going to see some high quality comps nice and early, as early as round 20, I think. We're going to be seeing a lot of three stars coming through. Yep, 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 yep. Once again, Lenya and Dark are both win streaking. Oh yeah, I think uh, Dark's not messing around. He wants to go straight to the semis, this guy. And Lenya, dude, they've got a meta comp, uncontested, perfect relic. Man, I think we we, we might already see two of our. Two people out of Group D progressing already. Do you know something about rebalance patches? Um, on my Discord card. So yeah, Lenya using his Shrink Ray. Perfect. Dark. Oh right, Dark's great vaulting. So this is actually going to lose eventually. Which is fine though. It's it's fine to sacrifice your win streak for great vault value because that's more consistent. Arm juice, Jojo going for a bit of a Sin Reaper value. Hopefully, it's enough to take out a a one star nine elf comp. Oh, there's a lot of dodges here. Hold up. Uh. 
Yep, JJ takes the win here. JJ does take the win here. Luna bounce, Luna bounce. Crazy Panda. Oh, just doesn't quite get the victory there. I think Crazy Panda is trying to push for that mango value here. He lost on round 11, trying to win round 12 to get the extra mango. I think he will need to do a little bit of rolling to get this to work. It's too greedy to not roll here. Oh, so far it's not looking good. Needs more two stars, I think, to secure wins. But nine elf is really good. Oh, there we go, there we go. I think the tree two, this should secure him a mango. This should secure him a mango now. I think items onto tree is better over Marcy to make sure it really pops off. Terror blade in, really good. Um. All right. Oh, easy mango, easy mango. It's done. He fights priests, easy clap. Knights, Katatika, I believe he has Shrink Ray as well. Yep, he has Shrink Ray. <laughs> Jojo, sh Jojo's flexing six Lunas in his face. Dark? Oh, does Dark just keep his streak with Great Vault? Oh. Dark keeps his streak. Level 5, 80 gold. Man, this is looking rough for everyone else. This is looking rough for everyone else here. Oh, Lenya actually did lose his streak. I did not notice, my bad. Um, once again, the big the big players of last tournament also shining through this one as well. Man, these players are too good. They're too powerful. Look, look, look. It's, it's Dark, Lenya, Dreams. They're all popping off. And they've got one pretty... And they each have an insanely powerful position they're in right now. Dream uncontested assassins is a dream. Is, is honestly like, uh, you can't ask for anything better. You can't ask for anything better. And a shrink raid on top. Lenya hunters also shrink raid, very powerful. Dark wind streaking eighty gold great vault, man. Whew. Hit for eight, unluggy. Um. Right, what's going on here? Keta going for a bit of a roll down with his string cray. Pew pew pew! Boom! Dazzle 2. Not the best unit, but you'll take it, right? You'll take it. Boom, that, that will be enough to beat round 15. Crazy Panda 9 L's. This is enough to beat round 15. Yep, that beats round 15. He should probably put Abaddon and that rider together to take the crits. Yep, that is good. Choco Shroud also on Elves. Elves being contested by Choco Shroud and Crazy Panda. Oi. Nine Elves any good? No, I do not. I Nine Elves was nerfed, so I do prefer the 6L variant, but it can still work if you hit the units. I think everyone has this in the bag. I think everyone's got this. Jojo Ball. Oh no. Oh no, there's three Elf players, boys. I think there's three Elf players. Crazy Panda, who was a contend contender for top three, might have his work cut out for him this game. It might be a bit rough for him. Dream DZ, Solo Assassins, he's just living the dream right now. Lenya, I believe he also has uncontested hunters. There's no way you let these two strong players get a cop uncontested. Oh no, it, it's done, it's done. And Dark is just... I, I don't even know how this is possible. I, I don't even know how this is possible. Three mech, three humans, win streaking, 80 gold, grade vault. This guy's gonna be a level 12 in like two rounds. Um. But do assassins finally take him down? Is this where his streak disappears? Oh, it's looking close. Tinker with the nanobots. Does he shoot, shoot, shoot? Oh, and would you look at that? Dream DZ takes the streak from Dark, but Dark doesn't even care anymore. He's already cashed in his Great Vault. He's already got value. Man's still sailing perfectly here. Smooth sailing. Wrong terminology, but you understand. Shrewd, is he going for a bit of a roll down? 
<laughs> May need to sell sl sell the Tonys if it's in trouble. One more Slark to free up space. Decides not to roll. Sells a Sparrow Breaker. That is perfectly fine. That is fine. Oh no. Assassins, level 5, 92%. Almost on 3 stars. Oh! But I do think Choco Shroud's gonna hit him with a big hit here. 6 L's does too much damage in the mid game, right? Unless the fight goes perfectly. Yeah, this will be about 2, 4, 6, 8 damage. That's actually not too bad for an elf rounds. Jimmy will just take that on the chin and move on. Jojo, level 7, trying to make use of his Sin Reaper. Doesn't quite get the victory there. Boom. Kenetika looking a bit low with his knights. I'm surprised not. Oh, because <laughs> Jojo has 6 of his knights. Oh no. Vanacek <clears throat> also in a bit of a weird spot here. I don't know what he's doing. He's got family discount, but there's not much direction from what I see here. Kenetika uncontested, or kind of uncontested knights. Look. Crazy Panda playing his mango tree. Level 7, 40 gold is actually. Oh! He's actually very close to level 8 here. And Spectre is in the pool, so what, so even though Crazy Panda's contested, what he can actually do is he can play a late game variant of Elves. He does not need Terrorblade 3 or Marcy 3 if he can find that Spectre at levels 8, 9 and 10. And instead of going for, instead of going for those contested units, he can even just put in Legendaries to supplement it with the 4 Demon Hunter with elves and he'll be perfectly fine. He's actually, while I said he might have been in trouble, I think he's okay here, honestly. Because Mango Tree is going to enable him to hit late game and play an alternate version of elves that does not rely on TB3. Second Chance is not in the game, otherwise he'd be saving it. Alright, let's see if he gets a win. <clears throat> Actually, no, to be honest, it doesn't even matter if he wins or not, because he's guaranteed to win round 20, but I'm curious to see how this goes up against other players here. Is the roll edge true? Elf versus Elf, Choc wait, this is Jojo's Elves versus Crazy Panda's Elves. And then, oh no. I hate, I hate to say it was, but three Elf players and Monopoly Contract is in the game. I think we're going to be seeing a bit of heat from round 20. I think we're going to be seeing a bit of heat from round 20 to 30 here. We're going to be seeing a few monopolies come through. Yep, it's looking good here, looking good. A win's really good here because it saves him life over. Oh! Just kidding, I don't know if this is a win just yet. Oh, oh! The Chen Chen! The Chen Chen combo? Two TPs come out, and it's a draw. Oh, no way, no way. Wait, that is the best outcome possible. No, 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 no. He got a draw. That's an extra mango. Oh. Instead of getting one mango between 19 and 20, he just got a draw and an extra mango, because he beats round 20. I think the man just got nine mangoes in total. Dude, I think he just got nine mangoes. Oh, no. Big brain, crazy panda, goes for a draw. Extra mango. Oh, I need to learn from this. I need to learn how to do that. How's Dark going? Dark has a Doom 2. 3 mech, 3 humans. This easily kills it. Three. Oh my god, these people's comps are so strong. Jesus Christ. Is this a queen lobby or is this meant to be? Wait, what is this? Why is everyone so powerful? Is Dark going for the back-to-back, back-to-back Great Vault? Or back-to-back Great Vault for Dark? <clears throat> Game of players that has been in a different group. Pocket Shroud, Monopolis Fury, and Antriot for 38 gold. He might have just ruined some dreams just then. He might have just ruined some dreams there. Oh. Crazy Panda's rolling down a bit. 
Oh dear, oh dear. He cannot make... He cannot make, um... Tree 3 anymore. That is rough, that is rough. Um, Lenya? Oh, he's got his... Almost 3 star at all his hands. He's just missing Morana. What's his... What's his items like? Oh, all... Wait, so all Lenya needs right now... He just needs a stick. Quarterstaff, telescope, top four. I'm saying it here. Um. I see three grips. Oh, there's no one streaming the other ones. I gave them the option. I, I, I gave the option for the, them to stream it, but they chose not to. He needs three wisps. No, I don't think that's. Wait. Does that work? Oh, that's an interesting interaction, actually. Lenya, Six Hunters. Dream DZ has hit his main core five units, all three starred. Solid, solid, solid item so far. Morbid Mask, Maelstrom, and a Blightstone. Has a PA! What is this? Man's going. Is he going for PA3? Oh, no. I Oh, it's not six assassins, so let's see how this let's see how this goes. Okay, assassin's just oh my god, assassin He's not even six assassins and he just carved through an elf player like it was nothing. Dark doesn't even matter if he takes damage. Level 980 gold, his his I wanna see what Dark puts together. I wanna see what Dark puts together here. <laughs> Choco Shroud losing to another elf player. Choco Shroud lost to Joe Jobel's. No, just kidding. That's Knights. I'm blind. No, no, no. Just kidding. He lost to um Kenetica's Knights. Ooh, I think Vanacek may be on his way out of the tournament here. This is definitely a faceless build. But I don't know if it's going to have quite enough to take out the other players. Kedichik, on the other hand, even though he is low, low econ, he is knights. That's the saving grace. He is knights. He has three stars. Has okay items. I think he might still have a chance. He's not out of the game just yet. Not saving for level 11? No, I think going straight for 10 is fine. Going for 11 is very greedy for minimal, for, for not a great return in my opinion. You want to be level 10 as soon as possible, especially in these lobbies because there's three elf players. Three elf players are going to hit you for like 15, 16, 17 every turn. That 75% health he has there will disappear like it's nothing. Oh! Oh no, Kenetic is taking a big hit here from Crazy Panda's 9 elves. Still in. Luckily the clones expired. Joe Devil taking a hit from Knight. And Dream! Dreams Assassins is going to lose two. Whose is that? Whose mask is that? I think that's Choco Shrouds. Takes two from Choco Shroud, but it does not matter. Does not matter. Um. Man, I still need to get that six assassin. The six assassin it would be good here. But he's in no rush, right? He's on 82%. There's literally no rush for this guy to um push levels and whatnot. He can just play a heavy econ game. Because if he plays econ now, he can level up later, put in some more synergies, and have a better chance of top warning. I like what Dream DZ is doing. Lenya, unfortunately, probably is going to have trouble hitting that Mirana given the contest from Jojo Ball. Let's see if Hunters holds up against Assassins here. How much of a gold lead has Dark? I'll check it after this fight, sir. So we'll have a look. Um, boom. Wait, the Hunters are still doing okay? Hunters actually take the win because it's... Oh, wait, no, it is six Assassins. Crazy Panda's... Wait, Crazy Panda with the traditional 9 elf build is putting in really good work here. This is like a 9 elf type of build you'd see like two, three seasons ago. Well, you don't really go for three stars. You just go for levels. You put in Doom 2, Chen 2. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. This is nice. It's a nice little throwback here. Um, 
Vanacek, no, Vanacek is out in eighth. I did not see that, my bad. I wanted to check gold. All right, Mr. Dark has 323 gold. Second place is Choco Shroud, who in two, in, with 258 gold and not, and you have to fa factor in, he monopolied elves in a triple elf lobby. And Dark is still 70 gold ahead of him. Man, this man has, is actually going to the moon this game. Not traditional because of art. Oh, you know what I mean. You just put any elf in, it's it's all the same. But yeah. Um. Ah. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, I have tapped over the dark and he has already found his full demon hunter build. That being said though, even though Dark is this far ahead, he's still not guaranteed the I'm gonna tell you now, I'm telling you this now, he is not guaranteed the win. Because how strong those other compositions are. It's not guaranteed yet until he hits a lot of two-star legendaries. And is sure he can beat any sort of item differential between him and the mid-game players. I've seen four Demon Hunter lose to a good assassin, good hunter. It's going to come down to whether these late game units are a strong enough core to beat them. <clears throat> Man, what is happening? Manta style double arcane boots on Doom. Oh, Dark will be taking a big hit here. Dark will be taking a big hit from Crazy Panda's Nine Elves. Doof, doof, doof. Big Enigma 2. <clears throat> Crazy Panda took it. Yep, that. That makes sense. Crazy Panda got hit by Hunters. Choco Shroud. Losing to Jojo Bull's Elves. Alright, let's go back to the game. Alright, looks like Dream DZ leveling. This is perfectly fine. Does not need to get any more 3 stars. I think leveling is his next best option. Maybe he can put in 2 Naga. Torrent Totem, Earthshaker. Shamans. 4B Steven. He can go anywhere he wants. Lenya. Unfortunately, does not have that telescope yet. Has all his items on Beastmaster. I'm a big fan of this. Big bulky front line. Assassins clean up afterwards. Let's see how this Beastmaster puts in work. Oh, okay. Okay, free win. Free win. Six Hunters versus, versus Elves. I think it's done here, boys. I think it's done. Yeah, he's just slaughtering. This man's getting slaughtered here. He's too strong, he's too strong. Oh, that's, I might have to turn down the, the video just a little bit here, I apologize. For some reason it's gone back to high. My settings keep trolling me. Dark with the pivot! All right, rolling down, rolling, pouring gods. Touring gods for Demon Hunter, I'm a big fan of this, I like this. It's looking rough, it's looking rough. He may need to sell a lot of units here. He's getting, he's rolling, he's rolling, he's rolling. Oh! Monkey 2! Board still has 7 million units on it! Sell Chen, sell Volkerit! Maybe sell a Do? I think it's fine. Oh! Saved, saved, saved. Doesn't quite have the 4, the 4 Tauren in yet. He has 2 Tauren. I'm not sure how necessary I'm. Oh, actually, you know, Arc Warden's okay for now. It's actually fine. But I believe 4 Demon Hunter is in to help save him some life here. Oh yeah, but but then again, it's Assassin. Oh no! And Crazy Panda goes out in 7th place. Crazy Panda ha was knocked out by Dark. GG. Kettleka down in 6th place. Jojo getting big hit by Choco. <laughs> the PC is dying faster and for some reason the graphics got jacked up. Without my permission. Choco Shroud Monopolies! Marcy 3. How does that happen? Choco Shroud tosses two games in a row and just comes in out of nowhere with the four Demon Hunters. Marcy 3. Oh. Uh -um. Alrighty. Dark, four Demon Hunter, four Tauren. Um, Dream DZ. Big assassins, but 
Marcy is sliding into the back here. Oh, that Damon Marcy is actually popping off though. Oh, JJ goes down in fifth. Popping off. Dark does not care. He's still going for late game. Um. Lenya's comp has unfortunately not been improving too much since 10 rounds ago, but he's still hanging in there with 56%. Three elf players, I don't think he has an issue at all. Yeah, four Demon Hunter, Marcy three, that's going to do some work. It's going to be tough to take out Shocker Shroud here. Oh, Dark hits. Four Gods, four Tor, and four Demon Hunter. Oh, this is looking kind of rough. This is looking kind of rough for everyone else. Is it though? Maybe. Auction, you know what? I think Assassins will be fine in taking him out. Just because of the Ricky Shard. I think it depends on where the Ricky Shard goes. But if he stops the casts from the four Demon Hunter and gets like the first hit in, kills units, Assassins might still win it. Big Monopoly out of Lenya. What relics are we going for? Choco Shroud Shroud. Lenya Monopoly, Dark going for a Mango Tree, and Dream DZ going for a Great Vault! Great Vaulting here is... Oh, that is perfectly fine. <laughs> that is perfectly fine right here. I mean, the Ricky position can be slightly better. It can be slightly better. But... I think he's fine. He can Great Vault here. Yeah, with these items, he, he, he's in no rush. He can just eke onto late game. Oh, Dark built. Dark has all in. Let's see how his final build. He has an Igor 2 Spectre 2, Invoker 2, 4 Demon Hunter with a Zeus. Oh, that is some damage right there. That is some good damage right there. Oi. Ballad chat, thank you for following. Chocolate Chat almost gets knocked out by Assassins. Um. Let's see, let's get some more footage on this. Oh, Dark hits a Zeus too. Manta style Spectre Armor. That's fine. Time to spread. So his biggest threat now is probably Assassins with the um the big shroud. That's his biggest threat right now. And I think what he needs to do is he needs to just spread as much as possible and try and just Yeah. Inverting comp is fine as well. Inverting comp is definitely fine. What you could do is you could fill this whole line so that the Taunt Totem goes one line back and it's perfect against Assassins. Um, yeah, Dark, Dark is looking... I'm a big fan of Dark's comp here. He went for late game, he hit it in this mid game meta. I, I hope he gets good success with this one and it's looking like he's absolutely demolishing people. Jesus! Oh, Choco Shroud actually does beat him back, actually, on his board. The Marcy is too powerful. Lenya takes a big hit from Assassins. Mm -hmm. Yep, Choco Shroud going for a bit of a roll down here. Zero gold. I don't think it's getting much stronger than this. Maybe he can get a Willow 3 with the IO, but... Yeah, wow. This is a tight game here. This is a very, very close game. I think Assassin, like Assassin's in the... Assassin's Beasts? Or maybe 4 Beasts? 4 Beasts Assassin. I I'd love to see that, actually. Check it out, check it out. Shroud in the middle. Oh, but that's a big Demon Marcy in the back line here. Vorkrit with the Whirlwind. Can't tell who's winning this one. Oh, Marcy got elementaled. And Dream Z, I believe, takes him out here. Okay, Shroud dodges. Okay, Shroud dodges with this Shroud. I saw that. Lenya, 8%. He's almost on his way out here, I think. Dark. Winning around. What a surprise. This man's OP. OP. We have three people tied in Group C. Oh, God. What do you mean? Um, I'll have a look at it after this game's done. We'll do 
but that sounds like an absolute headache to deal with. But yeah, my current um way of solving those is dependent on who got highest places. But I'll come look. I'll come look after. And if it's tied again, we'll just have to roll. Da -da. Shroud on the middle. It is blocking. Oh, oh it did not block the Spectre actually. Oh. Oh, just kidding. Wait, Assassins is just. Okay. <gasps> Dreams is taking a big Zeus bolt. Oh, 29. Dark has punished his greed. Lenya still alive. Chocker Shroud both still alive here. Um. Alrighty. Oh, he also has a Spectre too now. Wow, that's very lucky. Alright. Um. What what are items like? Choco Shroud has It's a bit of a mishmash of things here. Obviously unequip and fix it up after. Lenya is now six hundred four beats. Unfortunately no telescope though. Um Dark. Yeah, I think this is just what's his items like? Yeah, Manta Star. Um, there's my telescope. Oi! Congratulations on the telescope, Lenya. Round thirty-five. Better late than never. Drains is still on eighty gold with his great vault. This man does not give a shit at all. He just wants all the money in the world. That being said, wait, everyone, I hope you remember that the highest place, the highest point, fourth place from all five groups goes through. So if you're fourth place, you're not completely out of it yet, right? Um. Da, 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 da. What's happening here? Dream DZ has opted for two Naga. I do not recommend two Naga in this lobby. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Um, so unfortunately, like for Dream DZ. Oh wow, he almost got cheesed out by Marcy. He's fighting two people with true true damage, so having two Naga doesn't really do anything here. But oh, the Slark does go down against the Marcy. Oh, Lenya is out in fourth. Choco Shard third. Dark is having trouble with this assassin. So this is what I mean, right? Sure, Dark hit late game level ten. But the issue is that those mid-game comps with busted items still put up a fight against him. So, again, even though he's level 10 great vaulted 20 rounds in a row, it's still not guaranteed. Alright, Dreams is rolling down. I hear, I hear some Dark Hearts going off. Get the Ligon 2! 3 Naga, he's panicking! Alright, let's watch Dark, let's watch Dark. Dark probably has the most interesting board here with the 4 Tor and 4 Demon Hunter. 4 God! Oh! Ah! Ah, oh, Anti-Mage on Zeus. Oh, that's no good. Oh, that is no good, boys. Oh, that is no good! But it's okay, D Zeus wasn't the main carry, it was actually Spectre all along. What is happening? My board has flashing colours everywhere. Oh, Choco Shard goes out in third place. Dream DZ takes a big hit. Oh, so it's a 50-50 looks, by the looks of it. They're beating, are they beating each other? Oh, no, no, this Choco Shard is fine. Oh, Choco Shard almost takes out Dark. With his Marcy 3 elf build. Alright, so what just happened? So Dream DZ just lost to Dark's Demon Hunter. But Dark is only on 7%. Oh, way too dank, boys. Way too dank. Oh, picks up a TA too. Where'd that come from? I don't know where this came from, but this could put in work. If you don't die in one round. Oh, Manta on Spectre. Oh, Spectre blinking out. Stunning, the Slark. Make him activate his items is really good. Reduces his downtime. Oh, 
I think Dark might just out, might just one shot Dream here. Oh, Dark takes first place with his Demon Hunter build. Well done. It's has to take second, and that's all three games for Group D done. Oh, GG boys, GG. All right, so for now, you guys in Group D. Uh, everyone else who has finished their three games, go have a break, 10-15 minutes, while I sort out the group stages. <clears throat> GG boys, GG. Da, 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 da. That was a great game. I, I really enjoyed that one. That was an intense game. Well done, well done. Alrighty, we're going back to, we're going back to the spreadsheet. We're going back to the spreadsheet here. 500 gold win. How's it going, Mr. Streamer? Hello, Ovo. Having fun, we're having fun here. Hold up, let me get the screenshot ready. Da, da, da. This is for Group D. I'll get a screenshot up. Da, da, da. Alrighty. So, Dark. First place, first place. Dream DZ takes second with 8 points. Choco Shroud gets 7 in 3rd. Lenya fourth for six. Jojo gets four points in fifth. Keta. I keep getting who's who. Crazy Panda gets two. I think Keta is Seko. Keta is Seko, so that's three points. And then um Vanichek gets one. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Guys, it's our stream we want to see. Yes, I've sh shown you guys, I've shown you guys. Hold up, here we go. If I find which game are you gonna watch? Are all three games done on all three stages, Manu? Are they all done? What about Group A? What's happening? Our lobby's just. Okay, I'll watch Group A. I'll, I'll watch Group A. Has Group A started? Because I'm gonna watch it because there's nothing else happening. Don't start yet, Manu. Don't start yet. Da 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 da. Alrighty, let me um tally points for Group A now. Stim got 10. Uh, Ovo got 8, Manu gets 7, Manu on 7, 21 Savage gets 6, Dinka 4, El Clasico 3, Danny Shaw 2, Jan on 1. Okay, so Group A still has one more game to go. So if you're in Group B, C, D, E, you have a huge amount of time left. <laughs> Um, how's Group E going? Is Group E done? Is Group is Group E still going? All right, let's um sort this out here. All right, so um, boom. How do I highlight? Paint format. Oh, where are you? Fill color. Proof enemy goes through. Mishanya is on his way through. I'm blind, I should have done DK first. DK on 20 points. Uh -oh. Semis played today. Yeah, Semis is played right after Group A is done. DC. Alrighty. Oh dear lord, what is happening here in Group C? Oh, how did three of you get 19? Are you kidding? Alright. Um... There's a good chance that all four of you actually go through here. I think all four of you are going to go through because we take the highest highest point fourth place. Okay, group is group E still on the way? Three way tie. Um, I believe they're all going to go through though. I I believe um, DC guy, Winstone, Manny, and Napoleon are probably all going to go through due to we need the highest point fourth place player. All right, let's go on five one two three four A. Thank you for the follow. Alright, I've joined Group A. So Group A unfortunately had a crash. I need to play one more game, so we're going to be doing that. And then semi-finals are after. Can we join? Oh, it's already started, bro. So far kills, man. <laughs> agreed, agreed. Um. Alright, so Group C is probably going to be four people going through. I think Group E is still going. Drain is going to keep track of that, and I'll keep track of Group A now. Alrighty. Go, go. Alright, Group A is going through.
da, da. Hi, I'm gonna go have a cheeky toilet break. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me, um, I'll switch the spectator seat and then I'll go toilet. Where is the timer? Um, timer had a, um, power outage, so he couldn't make it. Timer's electricity, um, got cut out. So I gotta go make breakfast? Yeah, you go do that, so yeah, we're not going anywhere for a while, I think. Jeez, I have to cut seven games today instead of six. Oh, my voice is cooked. Oi, DK, thank you for the hose, buddy. Oh, I saw you made it through. Congratulations, you made it through the semis, bro. And once this game is done, I will be making the semi-final brackets on sc on stream. Alright, third game of Group A, here we go, third game of Group A, the cider, who's going through, who's not. Alright, I need to really use the toilet, otherwise I'm going to die. So, um, you can watch El Clasico for, oh, my settings are cooked again. Okay, let me fix my settings first. No, 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 no. There we go. Alright, be right back. So sorry for that. I am back. I am back. <clears throat> Alright, we are back. We got Mr. Manu, El Clasico, Ovo, 21 Savage, Jan, Stim, Dinka, and Danny Shaw. In group A, the third game. Classico. Alright, let's have a look at the pool. Let's have a look at the pool. Legendary pool has Gyro Gamba. Yikes. Oh, Tor and God late game actually. Oh, you know what I want to see? I want to see some Tor and Gods. Oh, just kidding, no, Spectre's in. Ah. Well, Spectre's in, they're probably going to play Demon Hunter instead. Yikes. Anyway. Whew. Late game is... So, in terms of late game potential, Legendary Pool, very good. Relic Pool. Good luck getting to late game, is what I'm seeing here. So, unfortunately, there's no Mango Tree, there's no Great Vault. All I see is a Shrink Ray and a... And... A family discount. So we're gonna be seeing a lot of reroll cops. Hunters, knights, assassins, contested. I can see the future already. Kenna, thank you for the sub. How will one go late game? They're gonna to have to Sin Reaper their way there, or Chioscuro, or Second Chance their way there with a busted start. Whew. But yes, yeah, late game is looking very unlikely here. We're gonna be seeing your classic mid game compositions. No. All right. So what we got? Danny Shaw. Our lovely Nightline player, big active member of the community, let's root for him as well, he, he's got this. Dinka, looks like a knight, troll knight angle. Stim, hunters, oh who's that? Someone's powerful. Two hunters, oh 21 Savage. That's a really strong sign. Mars 2, Husker, 3 warriors. 
Really, really powerful. Really, really strong. I, I like that. And is, is he going to 10 gold? No, he's not, he's not 10 gold. Ovo. Ovo opti for assassins by the looks of it with 10 gold. Good. Mr. Classic Core. Can he take out an Oracle? Easy. Easy. No worries there. Alrighty. Um. So we got Panda Orcs. Nothing. Hunters. That, that's an over assassin's guy. I'm going assassin. He's laying it down already. All right, Manu. Most likely opening. Classic Manu open. Let's see what he opts for later. Two priests. Oh, that's a Manu start right there. Um, <clears throat> Danny Shaw. Oh, he really needs to start consolidating his bench, whether he wants to fight or not. You need ten gold sooner rather than later. Jan, thinking between hunters and assassins. Stim, looking like hunters. Classic, oh. 10 gold, no, 11 gold. Looks like it's a bit of an elf angle here. It's looking like a bit of an elf angle for Mr. Classico. He's got a Marcy, Willows, all the elves you can ask for. And he's dropped his boxes on the ground. Sorry if you answer, I might have missed it. I'm the polling. I think it might be easiest if I'm... Um, I would just do one semi-final all the way through, and if you can do the other, that'd be fantastic. You can, yeah, you're, like, if you're playing in my tournament, you're welcome to stream, right? I don't, I don't have any restrictions. If you want to stream, go stream. This is a community tournament for you guys, not for me, to promote my channel. It's for you guys to have fun. Oh, Dinka hits a legion. Level 5 is looking really, really good for Dinka. 2 troll, 4 knight, this early with a legion. Oh man, that's gonna put in work. One on Savage. Oh, troll warriors, really nice. That's really nice. Really powerful. 10 gold as well. Stim hunters, easy win. Jan, still undecided between hunters or assassins. He can either. Contest Hunters or Contest Assassins. Unfortunately, Jan's in a rough spot here. And Mr. Yumi or Ovo, Ovo28. I think he's, he's already turned his brain off and he's already going for Assassins. Through and throughout. He, he does not give a shit. He is going full Rook. I need to go on Assassins. Can you show Relic Pool again? Sure thing. Danny Shaw. Bit of a oh a wizard warrior angle already. Manu. Hard econ by the looks of it. Hard econ. Hard econ. Alrighty. Manu priesting. Uh -uh. Danny Shaw potentially elves or warriors, we're not sure. Over, yep. That's, that's Assassins. Classico, 20 gold, level 4. Full economy. I think that's, that's a good elf angle here. That's a good elf angle. And Jan still undecided. He needs to make a decision here to hit that 20 gold bracket. Um. Anyway, I think from now on we're going to start watching the fighters more here. Boom. Stim wins on level 5. Dinka, level 5, 4 knight, 2 troll, very powerful. But it looks like one up, level 4 to 1. Oh no. He's grading and he's winning. Alright. Alright. He's popping off too hard. But yeah, Dinka start here. I'd like to see Legion in the. Yeah, I think I'd like. Wait, I. Why, why is there a stat fighter? Anyway, I think I'd like to see, um, I'd like to see a bit of a shift here. I want to see CK over Luna. Legion back. CK front. This is not good. This is not good for stacks. But yeah, apart from that, the units are really good quality. Un I think uncontested knights as well. Tornado Savage. Big Orc Warriors is going to get taken out by the Assassins. I think he is. Taken out by assassins. Wow. Damn. So over, I think he might have uncontested assassins and 
He's winning rounds? Jeez, this is going to be a strong assassin over here. Alrighty. What's an interesting fight to look at? Who should we watch? Who should we watch? Someone who's actually fighting, yes? Oh! Mr. Classic Co has two trees. Anti-Mage 2. He's done. He has direction. This is direction if I've ever seen it. Only downside is no priests. Manu! The classic 40 gold at level 4. He knows what's up. He loves his money and he always gets it. Danny Shaw looks at more like Wizard Warrior's angle. We're actually seeing more diversity than I thought this game actually. Oh, Stim, is he actually opting for Amiibo or Kier angle? That would be a definite curveball in this matter. So, Huntards versus Fortnite 2 Troll. Oh, the Witch Doctor, the big bounce in the back line. Marana Arrow, Marana Arrow. Boom. I think he's got this, I think he's got this. Yeah, Marana Arrow comes in. Stim actually beats the four knights. I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Alrighty, what's going on here? Alright, big round here, big round here. Let's look at the Relic Pool once again. What's our Relic Pool looking like? Shrink Ray. Family discount. Mid game, mid game, mid game, mid game, mid game. What are we gonna see? Mid game. A Russian tour. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. We need one of the Russian streamers to um, come in and start commentating because this is the wrong audience already. Don't worry, we, we still have some. We still have some representatives left. Luna over Granny. Yeah, that's not the play. Anyway, everyone's. Um, welcome to play however they want. Let's see what relics people pick up. <laughs> Alright, let's see it, let's see it. Oh, Shrink Ray for Luna. Uh, so this should be- Oh, but you got Legion. That, that's a bit of a conflicting relic to composition, right? Bit of a conflict. Classico! With the Weaponsmith. Manu, family discount. Might be Wizard Warriors down here. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Because Marcy has been contested by Classico. So I may, may need to think that one through. Weaponsmith on Danny Shaw. Wep oh, it's Sin Reaper on, on Stim. He's going for some big levels and three relics not chosen yet. I want to see what Stim gets up to here. Oh, Stim. With the tele... Wait. He has a telescope. Aya. Uh, so Stim currently has Shadow Fiend, Telescope, three hunters. Oi, this man's gonna get some value out of that um Sin Reaper, I believe. But no Stife, I know, but he has does not have the dwarf bonus yet. Unlucky and his he might be going for Meepo. Manu with his two priests, he is perfectly fine. He's he's chilling. He loves getting hit for damage early game. He loves it. Um, Danny Shaw, is this the Wizard Warrior angle? God Warriors? Cogonaut! Oh, is Danny Shaw Cogonaut? I, I can't tell. Oh no, if there's... Th there might be a Wizard Warrior. Oh, maybe Man is going for late game instead here. Bit of late game? Who knows? Classico rolling down. Trying to get some elves in here. I think that might be six elves. Yep, that's six elves. Classico going up for a fight with his Weaponsmith. Whoa! Boy, Classico has some main items here. Classico has some main items here. Plate Mail, Dagon, and a Javelin. If he gets that Marcy 3, it's already looking amazing. Ah, uh, he grabs his way to play 20. Alright, buddy. Toxic. But yes, let's see Classico. 6 elves. 6 elves are putting the knights in the bin. It's not even a Marcy 2. Marcy 2 popping off. Boom, Classico, easy win. Manu, no, no, not Manu. Classico went from open rep first 10 rounds. Now he's fighting. He wants, he wants in. How he got four items? Um, The golems can drop an item, Dream. The, the golems can drop an item. Ovo? Oh no, why has Ovo got assassins? Oh, Ovo, he's assassins by himself and he's got a weapon smith. Oh no, oh no. I think this man's going to put in some work late game here. 
Put on Savage, going for three humans. Very interesting, two priests as well. Oh! Aya, Stim is going to be claiming this if he ever gets there. <laughs> Yo, trash talking, Mr. Chocolate. No, look, our love goes both ways, Mr. Agnes. Okay, it goes both ways. Uh -oh. Mr. Danka with the night start is on 11 gold. He has gone for a fat all in. I'm not sure what happened here, but he's playing aggressive. He's playing very aggressive. I'd say at this point it might be okay to ditch the Legion and the Snapfire and play a Luna variant. It's a bit rough since you've got Shrink Ray, but yeah, this is... Yeah, it's tough. Stim pushes to level 7 with... Oh, I thought that was 6 Hunter. He, almost... he actually has 6 Hunter if he opts for 6 Hunters here. But I think, yeah, I think the axe is better. You've, you've got enough damage with the Shadow Fiend Telescope. I think Stim has chosen to pivot towards Hunters, and I think that's a perfectly fine choice. Easy Telescope, level 10. Even if it's contested, he can just go level 9, level 10, and just play the 4 Beast variant, right? Da -da. Yes. Stim is in a commanding position this game. He's, he's got an insane... This is like a dark start right here. What is this? Actually, actually, I think it's worse than... Uh, this is stronger than a Dark Start. 21 Savage. I want to see what 21 Savage puts together here. Oh, round 15. Dog time. There, is it? There's no marching. There's no marching. Oh, there are two Hunter players. Stim and Jan. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the board. Manu going for late game, I believe, with his family discount. Danny Shaw Warriors? Um, El Clasico Elves. Ovo Assassins and one Night Player. Okay, there's actually not as much contesting as I thought. Oh dear, there are two people contesting Wizard Warriors. Oh no. Oh, that is a disaster in itself right there. I think both Manu and Danny Shaw are kicking themselves right now. It's gonna be rough for these two. It's gonna be rough. Dog time? Yeah, bro, it's dog time. Yep, easy win. Warriors clean this one out. Any any stragglers? Any stragglers? Oh, Jan! Jan might! This might be a close one. Put him on! Put him on! Put him on! Oi! The refined hoodwink versus mini dog. Oh, I think he's got it. I think he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, dog goes for a crit! No! Hoodwink says no shot, fucker! And he takes the win. Not even close, baby. I love stream about Hollow Cactus Jack, we're doing tournament today. I should probably stop yelling at eh? Oh, anyway. Anyway, we've got four knights here. Man, Dinka is very lucky to not draw a stim. But hold up. Oi, Mr. Stim has pushed level 8. Stim, he's just... He's just going ham all in. Look at him go. Level 6 already at round 16 with SF2. 6 Hunters and 2 Dwarf. This man wants to push everyone out of the game. And I respect that decision here. Man. This is going to be rough for El Clasico. He's going Elves this game. I believe there are 2 Hunter players. So El Clasico is going to have his work cut out for him. He's going to need to hit those 3 stars and get into that Hunter backline. To really push through. Jan? Oh yeah, Jan's the other hunter player. Actually might lose to Manu's um scaling build. Manu Yeah, Man Oh Manu hits the doom. Manu can now. I think what so what's going to happen here? Unless Danny Shaw gets his comp up, I think Manu's gonna end up starving him out here. Manu can go nine warriors right here right now. Yep, I like this play, I like this play. Sell everything. Put your put your nine warriors in and roll down and hit two star everything and make a good start here. This is really good. This is really, really good for Manu here. Oh, I never thought I'd see the day where Wizard Warriors is contested by two people, but here we are. Here we are. Want to play Fish for Assault and that built. Assassins are OP. Assassins are OP. Stim vs Dinka when? We'll see after this game, sir. Stim don't know. Oh, did Stim not take it? 
Oh, nine warriors versus the big knights. Big knights. <clears throat> oh, the knights are slightly still too strong. I'm lagging. Why am I still lagging? Okay, I'm going to low. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to have to lower it to low. My frame rate is unfortunately low. Oh, Dink has all in six knights. Big Witch Doctor three angle. Stim is not losing a round for at least another seven. 21 Savage. How is he so healthy with this? I think what 21 Savage. Oh, I think I see why. His, his, so his weapon smith. Has allowed him to stay afloat, and I believe with his collected consumables, he'll be going for a second chance. El Classico is a sa is going, yeah. So Classico is still committing to elves, I believe. With priest, unfortunately, he has to play priest at the moment. He's yeah, it's struggling. He's struggling. This is slightly unfortunate. I still get 20, 30 FPS. Oh, easy win. Easy win against a drow. Drow hunters, no worries. Uh, <laughs> but then it's a stim. That is very lucky for you, sir. Oh, what's this? Is Manu pushing level 7 here? Manu needs 3 more punches, needs 4 more slaughters. Danny Shaw is unfortunately down in the pits as well. Contesting warriors is one of the most painful things you can do right now, I think. Let's have a look at this. Oh, Mr. Ovo is real. It doesn't even have a reroll relic. And he's getting his assassins almost at a three star level with Weaponsmith. I think Ovo is a strong contender here. Oh, Pango too with Reaver. Morbid Bass for Satanic. Right. I think it's Cloak for Ogrehood. He has a lot of. He, he, oh, this guy has a lot of avenues he can take with, with his, this base of units. The base of um, items. No summon quests? No, they are not on. They are not on, for sure. Looks like, I think Jan and Stim are both contesting hunters, but... Jan is rolling for the 3-star variants. Is there Monopoly? There is no Monopoly. I think Stim is safe. Stim is safe. Stim! Considering 3... Considering um, 3 humans here. Round 20, let's see what people, relics these people pick up. 5 DKBs! I think I would pass on that one in a physical damage meta, but... Dreams, you might know more than me, actually. I don't know. Um. <laughs> Let's go Shadow Beans. Real, truly built different, isn't he? Yeah, two Hunters. Ovo with a free pass with his Assassins. So, just in case you did, haven't seen the um, Tournament Brackets yet, your three main contenders to go through are Stim, Ovo and Dinka. And I think Stim might be locking his position in here. Anyway, let's go look at Relics. Relics. Dinka has opted for Sin Reaper. Stim. Chiascuro. Ooh, Chiascuro with a red win streak. Very good. Jan, unfortunately, has to go IO. <clears throat> Ovo has chosen family discount here. Manu has got Shrink Ray. And Danny Shaw has not chosen a relic yet. 21 Savage gets his second chance! Oh no, he's popping, he's popping it! Oh, no ding. Oh, plus one, no ding. <laughs> 21 Savage is looking good here. 21 Savage, 64 health, human priests, second chance, 8 books. This man's going to level 10. You're cursing him? Okay, I'll, okay fine, fine, fine. I, I, I will not, I will not tamper with his RNG. I will move on. Dinka? Oh, just loses two. Um, Ovo, so why do you have two Reavers? Ovo, you almost have three Reavers. Are you okay? Stim wants Stim. Yes, he's a very powerful spot. But 
I think the other people are starting to catch up here. Night Warriors once they hit 3 stars, Assassins once they hit 3 stars, Hunters maybe when they hit 3 stars, and Knights when they hit their 3 stars. Will start to put Stim on his back foot, but I think the damage has already been done. Stim is already too far e e economy wise. He might just secure this one in the bag. We'll see though, we'll see though. We'll see if his hunters can hold up. Because the clincher is that Jan is taking his hunters. Why do you manage to actually create? Um you can't you don't you do not always get the relics you want, so you do not always get the relics you want, unfortunately. But level seven, shrink ray for three cost units is perfectly fine. It's still value. Jan? Rolling for Hunters needs two more Beast Masters. Two more! Um, what's this person called? White Pony Rider Marana. One Beast Master, he needs the Ayo if Bench Space is scuffed. Needs three Snipers. I think this might be a. Oh! Does not need to use the Ayo anymore. Stim! Just doesn't stop pushing this guy! Level 9. Have we seen Stim above 40 gold this game? He does not care about Eagle. All he cares about is beating everyone else. He does not care. As long as he's, he's winning rounds, he's just going to punish everyone else. That's all he wants to do. And Medusa 2 with a telescope. Oh no. Doof, 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 doof. Oh shit, are the Knights too resilient? Is Dinky going to take it? There's no way Dinky takes it, right? There's Witch Doctor carry, there's Witch Doctor carry here. Oh, the Witch Doctor, no! Oh! And Stim is taken down by Dinka's Witch Doctor 3, the, most strongest, the strongest unit in the game. But it's okay, Stim has already taken so much value out of his win streak and relics that I don't think it, this is not going to phase him. This is not going to phase him at all. Pokemon Savage, still building out the books. I think what we're going to say here is, um, Oh, yep, 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 yep. So after 26, I I'm, I believe we're going to see 21 Savage just throw all the books in. I won't watch him. I'll, I won't. I won't curse him. But we're going to be seeing some level 10 out of 21 Savage. Ovo. Let's have a look at Mr. Ovo. Has his Slark 3, which has more health than the rest of his lineup combined. What is this? 5.2k. Usually you build attack damage. On assassins, but if you're so tanky they can't kill you, that is also a viable strategy. Oh, just one morbid mask would turn this into an absolute machine. Manu wins streaking? Oh, Manu is popping off with his nine warriors here, and Danny Shaw is still just alive. Danny Shaw almost has. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. How's Mr. Classico doing? Oh, Mr. Classico is on the ropes here by the looks of it. Oh no. He's too priesting. I thought he was going elves earlier, but it, it looks like he's decided to pivot away to more of a four beast to a key composition, right? It's looking a little rough for El Classico. His items are really good, but I don't know if he's got a carry that can quite push him through the top four here. Maybe some good rolls might come through with his remaining money. But it's looking dire for Mr. Classico. Jan with the Beast Master 3, 6 Hunters is also in a bit of trouble since he's contesting Stim. Manu's actually looking really good here. Manu might might be in a good spot here. If Danny Shaw gets knocked out and he gets priority on all his units, he's gonna go through. He's gonna get he's gonna get a big finish. <sighs> No Marcy, no win for Elf. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh no, honestly, if you're for Demon Hunter with TB, I think with TB3, it's still it's still fine. TB3 is still fine, but not optimal. Dinka, oh Dinka sin rate sins like 20 gold, 20 streak. Wait, so, so that means Dinka can pretty much just go and play on um, six night four troll. Quickly hover, reroll chances. Okay. But Legion 126. Yeah, that is unlucky. That Legion has been there since like round 8, I think.
Mario Savage level 10. Ah, thank you for bringing back. Yes, we can. Since he is no longer using books, we can watch him again. I want to click his Gloria, but I can't click it. Oh! I think 21 Savage. Oh, 17. Oh, no. Anyway. So, 21 Savage obviously got some pretty good things here because look, look, look at this. One more third and he gets level 11. He had, I think he had about 13 books from level 9-0 experience and he's almost at level 11. He's had some things. He's, he got some things. But now it's up to him to not die, right? Everyone else starts to hit level 7, 8. They want to start hitting for 15, 16, 17. I saw a multicast there. His, his main goal here is to just not die too quickly. <clears throat> if his tangos come in, second chance, maybe he gets a few dings, he gets level 11. Only issue is he's on 20 gold. I don't know if he has enough gold to quite put a comp together. <clears throat> Let's see what Manu's like. Manu has the Marcy 3. Manu Marcy 3, let's see it. Oh, the Wizard Warriors are coming in. <clears throat> Yumi has Satanic. Oh, Yumi has Satanic. He's going for his second Satanic. Look at him go. Danny Shaw on his last legs. 10%. El Clasico. Just alive as well! And Deke now on his knights up top is sitting safe. I'm, all, I'm very surprised this is popping off as much as I, as much as it is, given the, the lack of 3 stars, but hey. Oh! Legion 2 at round 28, who would have saw that coming? Stim, yep. Despite Stim's telescope advantage, he is now unfortunately starting to lose rounds because everyone else is scaling, but he's on 85%. Just with Priest, he's just, I think, he, just based off the health advantage, I think he sails into top four here. What master you got? Oh, hey, buddy, you already got your satanic. Let's check out El Classico. Classico, four base. Not playing a key, he's just playing a base comp right now. Let's see if this is enough to keep him alive. Enigma goes off on the pool of wars. I think he's fine for this round. I think he is fine here. Classico is fine. How's Danny Shaw going? Oh, and Danny Shaw goes out in a GG. So thank you for joining last second and um, filling up the spots. Thank you, sir. GG's. Alrighty. Oh, Dinka has all in, but... Oh, Dinka has hit bat three. Close to Abaddon. Needs one more CK. Make the Warriors proud, son. I'm sure Manu will. Manu will. Manu just needs three more... Oh! Sludge 3 is up. Sludge 3 is up. Here's here. Voice, I'm telling you. Sludge 3 puts it as much work as... Almost puts it as much work as a Marcy. When you're down to the, like the last few units and you need to clean up. Pudge is insane. Ovo. <clears throat> Ooh. Even Ovo is getting low and he's got a really good lineup here. Let's see it. Big Slarky Boy jumps in the back. Whole thing is shrouded. Alright, let's see it. Let's get him, Slark. Yep, Slark is too chonky. He, he's too chonky. He's chonkier than a warrior. What is happening? He's too strong. And he is safe against Knights. 21 Savage. Oh, 21 Savage is on one health. Level 11. His apple did not second chance, unfortunately. 21 Savage is looking... In a like, very unfortunate spot. Jan's low. Has three stars. I think that Jan dying would be Stim's wet dream right now. Classico is hanging in there by a thread on 7%. Nice little four base comp here. Nice little four base comp. That's, you know, it's holding up. It seems to be holding up. Manu is looking very powerful here. Marcy three. Who would be better items? But that being said, it's still in a good position here. Alright, round 30, let's see what relics come through. Let's see what relics come through here. Um, shit, that fucking bunch. I love it. Alrighty, let's see what these people slam down here. 
I guess people are giving it a bit of a thing, a bit of a thing. Here we go. Stim. Stim, level 10, has chosen Black Flame's gear. He may be... Go oh, he has Spectre. Oh, no. <clears throat> Alright, so Dinka. Optical Family Discount, that is perfectly fine. He still has not hit his units. Still gets good value out of it. Stim could pivot to a Sven Demon Hunter type build if he chooses to. Manu, Family Discount, finish off those last few warriors. I can even put in more three costs. Like, he, maybe he can go for like a, I don't know. Maybe he can conquer three, Viper three, some sort of utility in there. 21 Savage, is this his last round? 21 Savage has found. Is a Kia for Beast? <clears throat> oh, and I think the, the Hunters are going to take him down. The Hunters are too powerful for his level level build. Tony Osami is out in 7th place. Classico, still hanging there by a thread. 23% win streaking. Jan, just alive on 7%. Oh, Ovo has improved to a Mjolnir with Satanic. This is already looking like a... Un this this Slark is on its way to being unkillable. Oh, Manu has actually improved here. Drastically. Crimson Guard and Blade Mail and BKB and Mechanism. That's, that's going to be a Marcy that's tough to kill. That's a tough cookie to crack right there. Could go nine, yeah, he could go nine hunters as well. It's up to him. It's up to him. All right, let's see Marcy. Marcy versus Knight. In my experience, I actually do see um, Wizard Warriors beat out Knights because of the pure chunk and armor. Yeah, not, yeah, Manu is just carving through Knights right now. Oh no, El Clasico goes out in six. Oh no. Jan is just alive. In fifth place. <clears throat> GG's, GG's. Oh, what is Mr. Stim going for? Stim is actually still healthy, despite what the 49% says. He's got a cheeky three tangos in his back pocket. Yeah, 21 Savage did unfortunately come seventh. Sadly. So after this game is finished, there will be like a 15 minute break because I need to sort out semi-finals and some seeding issues. But after that's done, we'll be proceeding to semi-finals. Today. Not tomorrow, today. So Dinka is still rolling with his discount. I would like to see him go to level 9 actually. Oh! Actually, no, no, he's still, no, he's still healthy. He doesn't have to. There's no pressure. Assassin Big Boy Slark is carving through. Man, this chunky fish. I don't know who's. I don't know who can take this. Who, I don't know who can take that. Jan out in fifth. GG, sir. GG's. And Dinka gets a care package of six yellow circles. Oh, I think it does. It does. Hmm. At first glance, it does seem like Stim's playing hunters, but I do think he's pivoting to a more beasty angle, given the presence of lone druids, enigmas. Yeah, I think this is this is a, a, a Akia pivot out of Stim. Oh, big battle fury, big big fish here. Ogre Cat, um, he needs a um, cloak. He does not have a cloak yet, but that is a big fish. I don't even know if nine warriors can take that out because it's got some of life still too much here. Oh man, he's just carving through warriors like it's nothing. This, this, this fish, bro. This fish is unbelievable. What is this thing? Stim gets an apple. Yep. Yeah, I think Fishman, Fishman sailing his way into top three. <clears throat> I feel like, I feel like warriors should be smashing assassins personally. Give it, you know, the nature of synergies, but items are too, too OP. Items are too OP. Alright, Dinka. Not quite level 9 yet for the 4 troll 6 knight power spike, but looks like he's intense 
on getting those three stars up first, which is fair, which is fair. He has health. He, he has a bit of wiggle room to play with. What are his items like, actually? I haven't been checking his items. His items are all over the shop. He's got a few on Batrider, he's got, he's got a few on Legion. Mechanism has got some defense. And Snapfire has Hyperstone, Blade of Attack. Just a little bit of everything, you know? Just a little bit of everything. Stim! Oh, he's got this, he's got the oh, Spooky Spode has got this in the bag. Stim does win this one. <sighs> um. Alrighty, well, down to our final four in the final game of Group A. Uh, Dinka, level 9. CK3. My only issue is that he does not have good filler units, but that's okay. You can find them later. Big fish, stim, two apples, still a bit of wiggle room, still has a little bit of wiggle room, he's not out of it just yet. Or oh, he's on two gold, he might be, yeah, never mind. Alright, Manu versus Assassins. Let's see how this one goes down. Frozen against the Enigma is a really bad sign. Big Slarky 3 is kind of just cleaving everyone by the looks of it. I think the only way to really take... Oh, no, not... I was about to say a blade mail might be enough, but a blade mail is not even enough to take out that slark. Because Satanic essentially just counters the blade mail. And Ovo picks up Manu's streak. Ooh. Stim just I saw him eat a lot of things there. Uh, I started to gain some jewels, it is, it is. Dude, he still has 20 stacks! Oh shit, Manu going for Doom 3, that's a big, big dick play right there. So Assassins kind of play themselves, they make sense. We just watch some Warriors. Maybe we'll watch, we'll see what happens on Stim's board with Medusa Akia. What's happening? Oh, look at this Medusa! Ogre Cap, Akia, Moonshado. Oh, I get to, I get to Warriors, it's gonna kill itself. Oh no, I get to Warriors, it's gonna kill itself, oh no. Oh, no one's actually even hit Medusa, and she's taken half her life directly. Oh dear, she needs a she needs a bit of life still to sustain this. And Marcy will be kicking Stim for his final apple if he doesn't eat here, right? No, no, not quite, not quite, not quite. Damn. Oh, what this game's really showing me this. What these games have shown me today, late game is just so unbelievably difficult to pull off, right? Like, what Slark is this? Not even late game beats this. I don't, I don't even think late game can take care of this anymore. <laughs> can Knights. How are, how are our Wizard Warriors going? Manu has leveled up to 8. I think that's fine. Everything 3 starred. Let's see how Knights are going. How is the Knight, how is the Knight boy going here? Nighty Knights. Nighty Knights will be doing perfectly fine against Stim's board, I think. I don't think Stim quite had enough Econ or rolls to beat people, sadly. This, this is a strong top three here. This is a strong top three. Um, Mr. Ovo popping off still with his Slark. Thank you for the follows. Yeah, it's... Hmm. Unless Dinka improves this comp by a little more, um, Wizard Warriors and Assassins are going to start kicking him. Oh, Stim, unfortunately. Oh, he's almost out. He's almost out. He's on his last apple. Has an IO for Enigma. Opts not to use it. Decides to wait till round 41. Countering Slark with Shamans. That, that, is a, that is a play. Slark beat by CC, yes, but there is no Queen of Pain spammers, unfortunately. Oh, frontline Medusa. Oh, Medusa is just such a tragedy against Wizard Warriors. 
Even though Marcy stuck in the way and did nothing the whole fight, I think Stim's boy just killed himself. Yeah, Manu's popping off here. Mr. Yumi! Still winning with his assassins. Not winning, yeah. Unfortunately, that's late game in a nutshell, buddy. That's late game in a nutshell. Fish too strong, dude. The, I'm telling you. Ovo's fish is too chonky. That weapon smith on 20 might have just sealed the deal right off, like right off there. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Manu needs to spread. Manu's already spread. Uh -huh. And he's already got a blink dagger to get out of the shroud. He's fine. Round 40. You know, round 40 relics, they're not the worst. They'll help, they'll help. But let's see what gets picked up here. Let's see what gets picked up here. Yeah, so this is my kind of my main gripe with late game. There's not many good options left. And the previous premiere late game, Akira. It's just not great anymore. I, I, re I really don't like to Akira anymore. Is it enough to win, Medusa? Oh, Medusa! Oh, oh, the the shaman thing changed target, so he's fine. So the, what happened with two Akira was that they just nerfed it again and again and again. And even if you have a two star legendary with a one star legendary frontline, it will never spawn a Brood three or a Nyx three, which is why Meepo Akira is also kind of taking a hit with three star three cost to SF one. You only get Sand Kings and Venomancers now, and having half your spawns be Venomancers on the front line is absolute dog shit, right? What you really need are those Spider spawns, you need those Nyx Assassins, and you just don't get those at a 3 star level with 2 Akira anymore. Unless you somehow have a 3 star Legendary, but by then you've already won the game. Um, Alrighty. I think Wizard Warriors do just roll Knights here, I think Wizard Warriors do roll Knights. Yeah, he just got squished, completely squished. Oh, I think Stim will be... Oh! The, the Medusa does win against Assassins, would you look at that? The Ogre, Medusa 2, Mijolno, Telescope. Um, takes out Slark because he was stuck in a web. Meanwhile, Ovo board. Ah, uh, he's still smooth sailing. He does not care. He's still win streaking with a red man. Ooh, so I think at this rate, Deka or Stim might be like, oh, what is that? Oi. Stim has just pulled out a Medusa 3. Only worry is it still kills itself against Warriors, right? That is a big slippery Medusa 3. Look at him go. Oh, Knight. Okay, so against Knights, this should be a free win. Big Medusa 3. Doof, doof, doof. Ooh, I, I would love to see the damage this thing's putting. I would love to see the damage this thing's putting out. 8.6k! Oh yeah. Wait, did Stim just make a comeback? Wait, did Stim just make a comeback? Is this enough to take it for him? <coughs> How are Manu and Ovo both on a win streak? That sounds like a scam to me. He's going for some Medusa seeds. Oh, unlucky. Not this time. Not this time. Hmm. What I think would be... Oh, no. You know what Stim needs? He needs one more Warlock. No, Stim needs one more Warlock. So Medusa never dies. The issue is that Medusa doesn't have lifesteal. That 30% lifesteal from 4 Warlock would save her against, like, all the warrior-based rubbish. Oh, that's a big Medusa. Oh, I got stunned. It's stunned. How's he going? How's he going? Oh, Warlock comes out to save the day. And Slark gets squished from CC. Dinka is on his last legs as well. Oh, Wizard Warriors take, gives Yumi a big hit. And Manu is the healthiest at 49% with a win streak. I thought Assassins had this in the bag. You know what? Stim has just said, nah, nah, nah. I flipped this lobby on his head and he's just going in with his new toy, Medusa 3. 
What is happening? I thought the game was set when um Over had 16 16 um what you call them axes on his sock, but everyone else seems to have put together some sort of strong composition to fight back. And yeah, it, these people are putting up insanely good compositions here. Juicer Seed, what? Yep, Juicer Seed. Oh, he has a Juicer Seed that- Okay, so that right there, that can turn into a Nyx 3. That's a Nyx 3 or Broodmother 3 right there. And boom, what is it? What's coming? Oh, it's not dying. Oh, it didn't even die. Okay, it didn't even die. What, Ruby Kaz? I'll check that after. Oh! Oh, Ovo goes out in fourth! Wait, I did not see that Ovo. Dinka goes out in third. We're down to Stim and Mr. Manu for top two here. Uh, Rubik currently has no skill because he lost the round. That is very unlucky timing for round 45 here. Jeez! I genuinely thought Stim was out in fourth place and boom! Medusa 3 comes in with that Ogre Hood 4 beast. It's done. Um. Oh, wait, where did that come from? Stim has a Satanic and 8 other items on his Coria whilst Magisa is already stacked. Um. Now that threat of 9 Warrior Reflect damage is not there anymore. It just has too much life still now. Ooh. Alrighty. <laughs> Wizard Warriors or Medusa 3 here. Who's taking it, boys? Who's taking it? Who's taking it? Da, da, da. Our boy? I'm seeing some I'm seeing some support for Mr. Manu. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Stim wins now, no chance? Oh I don't know, Chief, I don't know, Chief. Oh my god, there's all these fucking big items. What is this? Quick, quick, quick! You don't have time, sir. Actually Manu does have time. He's got a lot of um money. Medusa 3 in the middle with the satanic. That is that is a demon right there. That is an absolute demon. Medusa 3 stunning the whole board perhaps? Oh, coming down. Oh, Marcy getting shredded by it. Oh. The yeah, Enigma on the back line definitely took him out there. Man, I think Stim made a huge comeback. Is going to win this with the Medusa 3. I think Stim just drafted too well and just found something that cannot be killed now. That Medusa 3. Damn, well played, sir. Well played. Can Manu make anything else here? Man, this is so hard to like register. Unfortunately, Manu cannot make an Ogre Hood because of the wizard restriction. Oh no, boot for heart. That's that's tragic as well. He needs a boot. If he had one boot, he actually had a harder to rasp, which actually might be enough to take this rubbish out. Sorry about that, guys. Ah, oh, the Warlock Enigma combo here. Too much damage, too much CC. I think Stim actually does take it with the cure in the end with his Medusa. Big hit, 16. How's it going over on this board? Yep, Stim is still winning. Oh, Stim the nick of time. Stim puts together an unkillable comp and he's done it. Da -da. Still, still a few items left for Mr. Manu he needs to put down. Might be the last round here. Oh, we'll go for a Warlock maybe. Oh, he wants to go for Doom 3. He almost got Doom 3, boys. He almost got Doom 3. He did one more. Oh, he had his items on Doom ready for it. Ready for the Doom 3, but didn't quite make it. Let's watch it from Stim's board this time. Stim, Medusa bottom right this time. Oh, it got doomed this time. But does that matter? Oh, does that matter? Marcy's on the back here. Marcy's on the back. 
パンチパンチパンチおおマルコリジェジェおおジェジェステム Does in fact take first place in this finals? No, this is group stage. We have、um, semi finals to play now. Yikes. GG! Because Group A、um, had a crash lobby, so we had to redo it. GG, GG. Sim takes out first, Manu second, Dika third, Ovo fourth. GG's, boys, GG's. Alrighty. Alright. Everyone, enjoy your break. We'll be doing admin stuff and sorting out semi finals, scoring, blah, 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 blah. It might take 15 minutes, might take more. I'll try and get it sorted out as soon as possible. But yes, come back 15 minutes, enjoy your break. We're going to get sorted out admin stuff. Da, da, da. All right, what's happening here? What's happening here? <laughs> Okay, so this, this lobby is decided. Smooch is on 28. Alright, Group D and E. I believe 19 is the highest fourth place we got in the game. So Stim, Ova, and Dinka go through from Group A. The one that got disconnected. Oh, I, I feel so bad to hear you guys just going to first. That, that really sucks. But GG, boys, GG. I think we have. Okay, so um, in terms of seeding, we need to fix this up here, I think. Alright, so Winston obviously gets first place here.、Um, Napoleon and both. Okay, I'm gonna give DC guy. Okay, I'm gonna give DC guy second seed here because he has a 10 and an 8. Napoleon has 10 7. Yep, yep, yep. And then Manny gets the fourth seed. Okay, so. There we go, there we go. Sorted, sorted. Actually, that actually wasn't that much of a headache. So 10 8 for DC guy. First place, second place gets second seed. First place, third place for Napoleon gets third seed. And Manny, no first place finishes, gets fourth seed. Okay.